Hi, hello, and what's up, everybody? Welcome to podcast. I hope you're having a great time. Oh shit! Watch out for that. Yeah, just, almost. Did I just? Yeah, I think. You, no, it's not unplugged. I what? Moved it. Might have. Mmm. Mmm. To have an eye, human mustard, city angel, people of the place and things. Hey, what's up? Welcome to Podcast. The cast where we smoke pot. Not weed. Never weed. What's up, everybody? Hello. Hello, hello, everybody, you sensual, beautiful people out there. Yeah. You're a sensual, beautiful person as well. Don't you forget about that. I'm talking to you and you. You and you. Okay. Smoke some weed. Smoke some weed? Yep. Cheers. We're still <laughs> sipping on the Oktoberfest. 5.3% oh. alcohol by volume. Mm-hmm. Pretty light. The amazing Broncos... Broncos colors, soak poured, it up. I poured salt into it because it reminds me of Coors Light. You know what I mean? Like, you put salt in yours? Yeah, well, not Coors. It reminds me of, uh, fucking... I bet, like, a lemon or an orange would be good in the it. The fucking... No? It tastes like a, uh... A Negro Modelo. No. Uh, Coors Light. It's, uh, it's like a Mexican beer. Uh, Pacifico. No, it's just the C, I think. Corona. Coronas. Corona. Uh, like, yeah, I got that Corona taste, yeah. So, I just so you put salt, salt in it. In it. it Interesting. It. How does it taste? Mm. It was the last one. It tastes like salt when you put in the Corona. <laughs> like, you know lemon? What I mean? You want yeah. some? I got lemon in there. No, I'm good. I mean, just so I can, I can drink a little bit. You want to, uh, we can put banana in it. That makes sense. Whoa. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, baby. Oh. I think we look okay. Woo! I think we're good. Just I think we are okay. Gonna burn some water really fast. Woo! Water Dude, all, all, all things considered, that. we are Woo! looking <laughs> solid. Woo! Alright. Hello! That's how we're starting the day today, Oh shit, man. I'm gonna wipe that off. Go get, uh, and get some more water. Or can okay, I use your here. water? Or can I use my water? Whatever you want to do. Let me go grab you some towels here. Okay. Woo! We avoided a disaster. My bad on that, guys. Oh, yeah. Shit happens. Go in there, motherfucker. There you go. There you go, Mike. Oh, nice. Holy! My heart is racing after that. Why, it scared you? Yeah. She wasn't expecting it to happen. No, I, was I wasn't like, either. It was fuck? like a uh, sudden shock. Yeah, to like the sudden, all of a sudden, you're just like, what the fuck is going on? All of a sudden, no! panic. I'm not exactly sure what I did. It smells like dab. That, that would smell like dab. Yeah. Yes. Woo! How are we looking over there? Delicious. Look at that. This looks like caramel. Yeah. Really dark. The nasty really, like, caramel. Thick, I guess. That if you put it in your caramel, it would get you high as bus sex. Butt sex? Bus sex! Yeah. Bus sex! How's everybody doing? So I read the rest of that article for the that dude that got stabbed by his girlfriend. Yeah. <clears throat> so this dude... I think it was in Cleveland, Ohio, was apparently doing some weird stuff to his uh, girlfriend's daughter that was 12 years old. And he, I guess he was like naked and was touching her in different areas, saying this is what it's going to be like when you get a boyfriend when you're older. What the fuck? Yeah, this is. A, I read the rest of the article. It was fucking weird. So he's like fucking being a weirdo. Yo, yeah. 
and he was like touching her and stuff. And he was naked. And he was naked. And the mom walked in on that shit. And she had a pocket knife, pulled it out, and started stabbing the dude. Apparently, she stabbed him in the chest, the back, and the head. <laughs> and straight up, like, fuck this dude up. Uh, I guess he got away. Or, not got away, but he lived. And, like, no charges have been pressed at this point. But... Good on that mom. That's all I'm saying. Like, that's crazy, but awesome. That's yeah. like her her instincts to just get this piece of shit. That was interesting. Get this piece of shit off of her daughter was they were on point. They were definitely on point. She's gonna do this little crystal thing that was chilling right there. Cool. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. charger i hope not i mean yeah why would they if anything that dude's getting charged I go to jail. with <coughs> some sort of child molestation or i'm not really sure what but uh yeah that dude's i hope that dude's going to jail for a long time yeah weeds for losers or is that pot i forgot no no, no. weed is for losers pot is for pimps how about this? We'll make it easy. Weed is for wieners. Pot <coughs> is for pimps. <coughs> <coughs> Woo! Weed is for wieners. <coughs> Weed is for wieners. Pot is for pimps. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. How you doing, 2 F and High? It's good to see you, buddy. If you guys don't know, 2 F and High just streamed earlier today. <coughs> right here on the internet. Seriously. It happened. We're followers of 2 F and High. And uh, 2 F and High is one of the longtime homies. Yeah, he's been here for a while. Yeah. So check that dude out. Yeah. Cine Angel, another one of the homies. Got her emo. Been around for a <coughs> minute. Cine Angel got an emo. Did uh did you did it get submitted and approved? I have no idea. Oh. I guess we'll find out now. I did stuff. Yeah, you did too, F and High. I saw it. I literally saw you doing stuff, and I'm here. I'm here to attest. If you need an alibi, perhaps I'm here because I saw it. Uh, if you need, if you need some sort of uh, like verification, he saw it too. You have two people that saw it. You did stuff, and it was today, on this very day. Eight, no, no, nine, fifteen, twenty, seventeen. We saw it. We've got your back. Yeah, something like that. And you can show people this. Uh, this is a legal document that can be legally binding. Saying that we saw it. And we saw two F and high doing stuff earlier today on nine, fifteen, twenty, seventeen. And that is officially stamped and approved by. Podcast. Uh, podcast. We both agree because we both watch the stream, so. Boom. We are your legal representation. That's something we do here on podcast. Dude, notarized and anybody, shit. Anybody exactly. need fucking That's their shit notarized? For. Anybody need some officialized shit? Yeah. Knowing that your shit's good because we have said we've seen you? You let us know. 
That's correct. We will notarize whatever we can. Ah! We are not official notary yes, of the are. Publix, but we are notary of the podcast. We are official notaries of Twitch. And whenever Twitch. you, whenever you fucking and podcast. Actually, I don't think we can say we're official anything of Twitch. Don't ban us, Twitch. We're not official anything from Twitch. But we we're are streamers. Official we're official streamers on Twitch. Of podcast. Yeah, I will notarize there anything that you need to send to me. Exactly. The and other I'll do the part same of for podcast, you. and I'll make sure it's legally binding. And I'll do the same thing with you. Boom. That's how you know. Podcast is official. Whoa. We are no official notaries of the podcast. All right, Space Kitty's here. What's up? Sp 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 space. Hello. Space Kitty. Let me uh, this thingy. Here we go. Wow, dude, you're going hard. I don't. You're just like right off the bat. I don't even feel high. Like, taking honestly, a dab. I don't. Ripping the bomb. I don't feel like I just took a dab. Wow, I'm incredibly I, baked. I don't even know how though. Like, I'm incredibly baked. Take a small dab. And for any homies that smoke flower, flower power, mwah. I kiss this ball. Show us what the Jolly Green Giant can do yeah, yeah. for you. Yeah. yeah, let's see it. Sydney, you're going to hit this ball next weekend? Sydney, you're going to hit the six footer next weekend? Sydney, you hitting the six footer next weekend? Sydney, that's a really important question. That's what I want to know. Sydney, Twitch Sydney. unfollowed me from you. It does that a lot. I would, yeah, I keep finding that it does that to us as or well. Or you just unfollowed us because you don't like us. That's probably what happened. That's probably But I don't want to admit it. Let's not talk about that. That's it. Okay? okay? No, no, no. Yeah, we don't need to talk about it. Okay, then. Everything's fine. Adam Sandler says, podcast sucks. It's all about the weed cast. If I, f if I see the weed cast in public, I'm beating the shit out of them. Dude, weed cast cannot be a thing. We're okay? going fist to cuffs. Fist to cuffs, like straight up. Straight up. There's two of us. I don't know how many there are on weed cast, but they'll come get up. Fucked up. I'll fist to cuffs the shit. You ever been to fucking weed cast. fucked up weed cast? And I'm not even left handed. But 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 I'm right handed. Tow. See? Yeah. He knows things. <laughs> I know stuff. I know stuff. Uh, if it's not your thing, then just piss off, bitch boy. Whoa, Space Kitty, come out strong. <laughs> I don't know if she was talking to Adam Sandler or us, but Space Kitty was, like, really all over it. You don't want any, trust me, says Adam. Okay, there's... Everybody, there's a battle. There's an actual battle happening in chat. I thought it was fake, but it yeah. is real. I love it. <coughs> Everybody calm down. <coughs> calm down. Uh-oh. Adam Sandler was joking. Space Kitty was getting defensive, and we <coughs> appreciate it, but it's okay. <coughs> Adam Sandler was fucking around. <coughs> uh, <laughs> Cine Angel. Jesus. Cine Angel what? Dude, first of all, I didn't see the <coughs> hit actually come out, but I realized how big it was. When I saw a giant cloud, I can't open it from me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know it's yeah. like hard to breathe sometimes, like right after you, you take the you have to hold your breath. Ridiculous hit! Yeah, that breath. was huge. <coughs> um, you hold your breath. Uh, six or Cindy Angel says, "I don't know about the six footer. It's bigger than me. It's bigger, bigger than, than me. It's bigger than Oscar it's and him. Like almost as big as you, really. Yeah. It's right around the exact same. It's size. four inches shorter than me." No, it's not, actually. <coughs> because remember when you had to hold it up to your head, and it was basically as tall as you. So I think they measure... I think it's actually four inches shorter than me. Well, I think what they measure... Oh, no, it's from the... I think they measure from, like, the top of the, the bubbler part. Yeah. That doesn't count. So that is about <coughs> four inches down below it, maybe three or four. Well, can't be four because it's not taller or the same height as me. It almost was, yeah. It was, like, right next to you. <coughs> it was, like, that much... I don't think so. I think it was right next to you. I don't know. We'll have to look. We'll do it again. We'll do it again. I'm sure we're going to do more yeah, six-foot bong I'm sure we'll do a six-foot bong rip. And That's we'll fucking something then. we do. Motherfuckers. Um, okay, what up, Master Poopy? How you doing, buddy? Master Poopy. How's it going, Hobbs? Master Here, Poopy says... I'm glad that Master Poopy wants. found us and, like... It is Master... Yeah, Master, Master Poopy, Poopy found us and yeah. fucking uh, decided that... Like, I'm just glad that you might be a troll 
or you are a troll, but you're like a troll that likes us. You know what I mean? Like fucking, like, cause usually when you master poopy, I'm ready for like some racist shit and like something. Like, I'm, I'm preparing myself. We both have the streamed. name. Master he poopy. streamed like two years. I streamed like a year and a half before we started. Like we did this thing. And uh, so I was like getting ready for it, but it's nice. We have a person named Master Poopy that comes and watches. It's like awesome. I love it. It's, and it's awesome name. And isn't it straight up? It's awesome troll. because of that. That's why it's awesome. Because like when you find troll names and they're people that aren't really gonna troll or they're chilling, like that's super cool because it's like that's fucking puts it's a p- off putting. It makes me like you know what I mean. I'm like wait a minute, like wait a minute, this guy just like Spooky Long McSlave. Puts you on edge. Spooky McSlave. I thought he was a fucking troll. Like, Right from the beginning. Me too. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. From the beginning. And he's a cool... He made our fucking intro. That guy's cool as shit. You know what I mean? Like, that dude's but dope. But the name, Spooky McSlave... Made me be like... To, may, I double... I, I had to take a double, double take on Holy that. Holy dicks, we just got hosted. Are we sure? No, we didn't. That was from tw- two days ago. I'm that high right now. I swear to God, I thought that just popped up. Wow. No, dude. Oh, no. Oh, shit, dude. <laughs> Never mind. We didn't just get hosted. Nothing. Dude, Nothing you else. just took a monster bong rip, a big old dab, <laughs> so that makes sense. I swear to God, okay. I thought that just was, that's two days ago. Okay, so Master Poopy does Master want Poopy. to know, if there existed a perfect clone of you, would it also be you? No. Would it act in exactly the same manner as you, like a mirror, or would it act differently? If it acted differently, then would it still be you? At what point would it not be you? I think as soon as you make a clone and it does its own thing, it's not you. As soon as you make a clone of yourself, no matter even if it is you, it has its own conscious, which is something I have. Meaning unless, that it can make unless its own what you do is what it does. Like, yeah, unless somehow it's clone, mimicking everything, everything I'm doing. Everything I do, it does. It does. Then obviously it's like some but sort of But if it's a, a clone that has it, as soon as you give something its own consciousness, it's its own being. But as soon as you like, make just like, it and it if does you its could own make, thing, if it's you immediately, could, it's totally, it's its own. But not this, but. It's its own being. Like fucking, uh, it's like Westworld. I was going to make an example of your beer, but like mm. like Westworld in a sense. They're machines, but they have given the machines consciousness. Meaning those are not machines. Those are living things now. And that's how I see it. Yeah, if you have a consciousness, they you're a living thing. are now. able to think, Comprehend and think and understand. Comprehend. And love, ponder, feelings. And yeah, like they have feelings. Like it's like. Whether like, or not we made not, them, they're, I feel like that doesn't make it's any not, difference. It's a living thing. It's like like you just made the machine a living thing. It's not a machine anymore. I think, think that's exactly what happened. And that's something I've said to you, that... If somehow that ever happened, I would fight for their rights. Like, I would definitely, like, go to war for them if that's what it came to, like, in that sense. Because I think that, that's how strongly I believe that is, yeah, there is, was as long as you have a conscious, you're human. Like, you're, 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 you're a living. like that and people yeah. wanted to kill them. Or wanted to fucking use them like Westworld. Where right, just yeah, fucking, that would be fucked. Up. I would definitely fucking fight for that. That would that's, be really weird. Those are living things. And I, I, I don't know. A lot of people are like, oh, fucking, they don't have souls because Jesus didn't touch them or some shit like that. Well, I don't know. Nah, that's I'm, religious people. Yeah, I know. But, like, all I'm saying is, like. They can't, they don't know. Religious people. Well, that would be the biggest battle. If it, you know what I mean, would be that. Like that would probably be who we would fight against. Exactly. Be all the religious people. It would probably be like the atheist, non-believers, whatever, with the robots versus all the religions, religions. and the religions would all want to kill the demons and the the demonized machines, and they would probably somehow... Because they're self-coherent and shit They would now, somehow, and... like, consider them to be devils. I'd or... be like, dude, I'm chill with you guys. Y'all are machines. Y'all are superior. Because that's what happens, man. That's how evolution works. That could be our next evolution. You know what I mean? Like, legitimately, that could be the next step. Who knows? What if this is the end? This could be the last evolution for all we fucking know. But I wouldn't think that because of the fact that, like, uh, Muslim children were being born without wisdom teeth. That proves evolution's still going. <laughs> what yeah. the fuck is that shit? There were so many that they were being born without Muslim. I mean, without Muslim, without wisdom teeth. Like, what the fuck? That's awesome. Um, oh, think about this. Yeah, yeah. Think about this. Just ponder this for a second. Let's think about some stuff. I like it. Thank you. So, uh, when you basically break everything down <sighs> to uh, like, your- like a molecular level from. From a chemistry base, everything is made out of the exact same thing, right? Yep. So stars, humans, planets, this, 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 this death, table, the world, everything, everything, every, is everything, essentially the exact same yeah. thing, because we all come from the same thing. Yeah. Everything does. It just what if that's somehow okay. you know forms together differently. I think I know what. Well, yeah. well, what if humans are just the universe's way of 
being able to recognize itself. So the Ooh. universe made humans so it's able to like reflect on itself. And humans are just these creatures with a consciousness. Yeah. Where the universe is able to think through us. I would think that it. like if it was if it is an explosion, if the explosion is still going on, we're all okay, so like if an explosion from a grenade, if you threw a grenade and explode, that explosion would be all the same thing, right? Because right. it's his own explosion, right? Now, if we're a huge explosion and we're just a small minor thing and there's a huge explosion that's living, then that's why everything would be made of the same thing because we're all the same explosion still. But things are going on, you know what right. I mean? Right. In another sense. Exploded. But I like that. I like yeah. that a lot. Because that makes me like, you know what I mean? That means the that the universe itself having a self conscious therefore to look at us at a third person and watch us in a sense of whatever the fuck it's Or to be able that. to think through us. Maybe yeah. that's like and the help purpose. It, like wanna do whatever or give it a reason or I don't know. Yeah, I don't I don't know. Maybe it just wanted some sort Hell of yeah. Who knows? I don't know. <laughs> I'm I don't know, man. What's up? Uh, people fuck. move in chat. Big J cool. Customs. Uh, what's up, what's Big, up Big J? Big J Customs. Big J. He says, yo, what's dog? up, dudes? I just tuned in, but that's almost as good as being hosted. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. I enjoyed Westworld. I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah, we liked it as well. No, I did. I want to watch season two. I really did enjoy it. Oh, Master Poopy says, lol, not a troll on this stream. Not on this one. I like it, dude. Hell yeah, dude. That's cool. Cool. Good night. Cindy uh, says, well, I am fucked up. Mach I'm a fucked up machine. Well, if you, we all, we all theoretically could be machines in the sense of like, I love, my favorite thing to think about are the thing that I want to be real. Like the, the thing I would, I hope is real more than anything is that somehow we are another species technology and we're just machines. And that's, it would make so much sense because, okay, here's a concept that really fucks with me at night sometimes. Let's think about this. Let's think about memories themselves. We live memories and we remember memories. But they go by so fucking fast, everything goes by, you go, wake up, you go to sleep. You wake up, you go to sleep. You're programmed, in a sense. Like, I, I don't know. Our like, memories are so like, fucked up. And they're so faded. When you so go gone, back just, to an actual memory, you're apparently like remembering, remembering what the you, last time you, thought time about you it. remembered it. So it's just so it's a memory like, of a, a memory Did of a it memory. Ever, you know, after this long... Has that actually ever happened, or is it something that you were meant to think? Happened? Or did it happen that way? Or the Which way to way the consciousness when it looks when it comes like crime. The way to give a robot consciousness is to inside its own brain let it live a life of a human, which is what's going on with us right now. So we are inside of a robot's brain, giving it the ability to understand how to have a consciousness, and then therefore become more human-like. So we're like a minor, just the brain of a robot. So is wait, what this is the are. robot. The no, 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 no. I'm saying imagine if we're the brain of a robot. We're what they created to put inside of a robot to help it develop a consciousness to where now it has so an the ability. universe is like the robot's For us, brain. yeah, we're, we're just us, inside of a robot's brain. Imagine. The robot's brain. What? I'm sorry, I'm fucking just And then the and robot just like to talk about stupid shit. Like, is sucking up our energy well, and no, it's creativity. Just, it's just, yeah, it, it's just... And our thoughts, we are like just the way we think. a program put into the robot to help it, it so make this consciousness. program? We could be, because they do find that <laughs> yeah, we're kind of like, like made up. Zeros and ones. Everything kind of follows <laughs> the zeros and ones concept <laughs> that computers are. Oh, we gotta follow. Hey, hey fucking no. big customs. Hey, why is big your Jake. name big customs, dude? Big J oh, customs. Big J right? customs. Big J what, customs. What are you customizing, dog? Let me know. Dude. Hey, fucking, thank you for that follow. Okay, so here we go. This Ooh. is a long one. Space Kitty says, but do they have a conscious conscience? I mean, they literally all did exactly what they were programmed to do. Not really, though. No. They actually... That's totally went off of their programming. Mm -hmm. The only one that memories. strayed from her programming was the one with a child. She had the chance to leave but returned. I feel like Westworld challenges the use of conscience and the common you desire of Hollywood end? to give machines unprogrammed sentience. Did you not see the end of Westworld? Yeah, like the I whole... don't want to spoil anything, but watch the end of Westworld. It'll explain a lot. I mean, the whole thing of <laughs> Westworld, like, like the what? entire point of Westworld, what? were like the robots waking up. Yeah, like they're and there were like, multiple robots. They didn't, there was a point where they were just robots. I would agree. You know what I mean? So they were programmed mm -hmm. initially, to be right? This where this keeps happening, mm -hmm. but suddenly 
like all of these and that one sudden, guy it was that one guy time. that was trying to he wanted to give them he was like he was tired of them just being robots he was like they're his children he wanted to yeah. give them life so he was starting to fuck with them and that's what happened and they, they were like fucking remembering waking up. stuff they found that picture mm-hmm. and they were looking at the world in a different way and here's the crazy thing is they get reset every night yeah where they're not supposed to remember but shit. And they're starting to remember. But then they that's wake up shit. and they remember stuff. Mm-hmm. And see, that's that's why I'm saying like they were robots at once. But as soon as that happens, and that's where they, they have that like, consciousness. To erase their memories. Boom. And then like, whew, it's a good. Yeah. I fucking love that show. It was good. It was it's good. good. Just like the OA. Watch the OA. If you like, like when we talk about a lot of random theory, crazy shit, watch the OA if you like that stuff. Because the OA is amazing. And it's about like saying, like, I don't know. It's sciencey, Like sciencey stuff. Theories and shit. So funny. She says, I did. Remember how they orchestrated mostly everything? Did they orchestrate everybody getting slaughtered? Yeah, I don't... I mean... I mean, he kind of did, but, like, he was... He set it, it up. He set it up for the other guy, because he was... He could never... The opposite like, of everything he set up happened, right? Well, no. This is what oh, happened. No, wait, that's how... Like, at the he end, wanted he to knew... Die, what, right? Yeah, this is how he wanted to die. Okay. Because, hey, look, spoiler alert! <laughs> yeah, sorry. Spoilers, okay, spoiler guys. Alert. I know we should have right, said that sooner. But, look, this is how it works. So um, main dude. He could never get over... There was one thing he could never get over. His best friend killing himself. And he knew what his best friend truly wanted. His best friend loved him. And he was trying to explain that throughout the whole fucking series. He was giving you these stories. When he's talking to the little kid, those are all narratives of him talking about how, like, he was so connected to him. And, like, right. how he was, like, showing that he still wished he could have that. And fucking, he loved that guy. Like, not, like, gonna fuck or anything, but, like, they were best friends, were just, you know? Yeah, yeah. And, like, he and the guy killed himself. He could never get over that. And then his ultimate thing was he gave the robots consciousness... Which ended up slaughtering all the people there, which ended up season two, whatever the fuck that's gonna be. You know what I mean? Like that is amazing. Like he was like it was like his gift to his friend that killed himself, and he could never get over the fact that his friend killed himself because of what he curated. You know what I mean? He killed himself because he couldn't make them human. So he's like, I'm gonna get, make them human, and them being human was, would be what killed me. And that's exactly how it happened. I love that. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm interpreting the wrong way, but that's how I see it at least. You know what I mean? Well, is that like? I mean, if I, if you like? I feel like that's. No, I think that think that's pretty. Yeah, like pretty, pretty accurate. Right I mean, on, I'm right. Like, remembering it a little vaguely, but. No, I fucking. I, dude, I fucking loved that. That last episode was so fucking good. And they were walking on the beach and shit, and you were like, "What the fuck?" And then they opened up the lights, and you see them like clapping and shit like that. Like, oh, like it like fucking oh shit yeah. I guess yeah, yeah, watch Westworld. It's good. Westworld we so really fucking good. Out. Big yeah. J Custom says I thought the OA was okay, but kind of meh on a rewatch. And now I don't even remember what it was about. <laughs> Damn, dude. Um, okay, so I like the OA. Interdimensional travel. I don't know if I would rewatch it. I wouldn't rewatch it. It doesn't feel like it's not rewatched because of the fact that like Once there is some know stuff. What happens, yeah, you like the thing that keeps you going through the show. Like, yeah, I don't. The thing that keeps you driven through the show is the unknown. Is the fact that you cannot guess what's going to happen. And, like, the fact that you're just like, what the fuck is going on? And I love that. And, like, that's why I wouldn't want to rewatch it again. And I would watch season two, but I wouldn't watch season two two times. Like, you know, like, yeah, they're the not shows it, it, like it, it that. Just, it was like, cool. You want a show that's, you want a show you can rewatch? Black Mirror. You can rewatch any of those every time. And they're all like fucked up and going to fuck you up. Like, yeah. that's great as fuck. And uh, uh, I would definitely agree that a second time would make me make it off-putting to me would be the OA so yeah. I'm glad that we I, I wouldn't want to watch it yeah. again yeah I think I would maybe I would pick it apart more or something I don't know I, I like mm-hmm. the experience I had but the first not. time and then I don't want to like like it's just like going back to an old movie that you thought was awesome and like like the fucking uh, what was that movie we watched with the, the Last of the Mohicans Last of the Mohicans like, man I wanted to I wish I didn't because, watch that like, with you dude, dude I wish I didn't and I watch wish, it with like, you cause like my because dad always that told me was my dad always told me how amazing that movie was, and I was like always like fucking ready to watch it, but I never did. And I watched it, and I'm just like, it was okay, but it was just like it was just like fucking whatever. You know it what I mean? Was, like, it just you could tell it was, it was slow old, as dude. fuck. You could just it was tell old. it was. It was just an old movie. You know what I mean? Like that's how they made them back then. Oh, Body Parts wants some more biceps flexing. Go for it, dude. Ow! This guy fucking oh, hits the fucking. No. Uh, oh. This guy works oh. out and shit, so you want him to flex. I got a big I am the ultimate warrior. He does like pull ups and shit. Him and Oscar do pull ups. I just jerk off a lot. No, no, no. I don't do pull ups. I wear pull ups. Oh, you wear pull ups? I wear pull ups so I can just shit myself anytime I need to. Oh, I thought you do pull ups. No, no, no. 
No, no, no. I wear. What's gloves. that thing in the that you put in the door and you? So what I do is I get naked and I hang on it. Okay. And then Oscar puts my pull-ups on. I can't do it myself. What? I need Oscar to put my pull-ups. How have I not witnessed this yet? We like to do it when you're not around. We don't want you to see that we're wearing pull-ups. Okay. So does he have to hang too? He does it too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We do it. We put the diapers on each other. That's the only way you can do it. It's it's complicated. You wouldn't know. You've never worn diapers, obviously. Well, when I was a baby. Well, maybe back then, but it's not like you remember wearing diapers. Anyways, so you can just... <sighs> like, poop your pants right here on the cast if you want to. Oh, really? That sounds disgusting. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yep. Mm-hmm. Just whatever, anytime you want to. It's nice because I don't have to leave. Oh. You know? It's for yeah. the people. It's not, it's not like it's for me. Oh, okay. It's for the people. So they don't yeah. so I don't have to leave all the time. Okay, okay. If you want to get into it, I can show you how. Not at all. Alright. Adult diapers, friends. Adult diapers. Nope. Let's see. Y'all should smoke a shit ton and watch Orphan Black. The fucking Black Orphan? Orphan? Is that the new one with the kid that's like supposed to be fucked up or something? It's on Amazon. Oh, never mind. Wait, Amazon Orphan Netflix. Black? The fuck is so Orphan Bill. Black? I need to finish Wait, uh, Afro Orphan? Samurai. That fucking... I've never seen the, the anime, but the movie was is fucking amazing. Yo, wait, when's Stranger Things 2 coming out? Like, super soon, right? Really? Within, Dude, it's either this insane. month or next month. That's what's insane, because I used to have to go with the only two shows I really watched. The only shows I watched. Game of Thrones, The Walking Dead. So the only shows I watched were... Like, Game of Thrones just ended, so I'd have to wait for Walking Dead, finish Walking Dead, wait for Game of Thrones. That's it. But now with, like, Netflix and all this shit, like, I'm just like, holy fuck, there's so many shows. You're like, yes, you don't have to Netflix have Netflix fucking... is so good. I love They're Netflix so forever. Good. My dad, he's, like, super Christian conservative, and he's about to fucking get Netflix. Like, what the fuck? I wasn't playing that shit. Because, like, like, I hear a lot of fucking, like, oh, Netflix is racist because they have, like, that Dear White, Pe- like, White People movie. It's like a whole bunch of black people will say stuff about, I don't know, fucking, I've never seen it, but uh, I'm like, okay. I don't give a shit. It's not racist. Motherfuckers let people fucking make entertainment. I don't give a fuck. You know what movie people said was racist? The fucking, the one where the kid, uh, god damn it. Fuck! It was like, a, it goes through the life of his struggle. And he's like in school at the beginning. God damn it, it's such a fucking good movie. And like, Who's you said you've heard about it. It was a Netflix uh, original, and you said you heard about it, and you've never I seen never it. it. And it was like a really good fucking movie. It's like a, it was, Fuck! Um, God damn it, I want to know. It's so fucking good. It's like, uh... Apparently the Ozarks the just Ozarks? came out on uh, what the Netflix. Fuck is that? It's supposed to be really good. What's that? The Ozarks. I don't even know what it's about. I just heard Isn't people talking about it. Is that Japanese show? It's like... I, don't, I know it. nothing about it. Oh, okay. I just heard that it was a really good show. You heard anything, Netflix. guys, about the Ozarks? And there was comparisons from the Ozarks to uh, Game of Thrones. Like, what? It was that good, apparently. I don't know. That's what Dude, I heard. that one fucking show claims that it That's got better heard. ratings on Rotten Tomato than Game of Thrones and The Walking Dead. Which, I mean, I don't give a shit because I don't care about Rotten Tomato 100%. Mm-hmm. But, like, I'm like, it was that the comedy show about the girls that smoke weed. The ones that they, people tell us we should try to watch. The <laughs> two girls that smoke weed. Like a show. Oh, yeah, yeah. And I'm like, nah. Uh, somebody else told me that. I don't think that's going to be better than Game Didn't of Thrones. <laughs> like, yeah. uh, I'm sorry. Yes, you're smoking weed. I love the shit. That's fucking going to be funny and stuff. But you're not going to... It's Game of fucking Thrones. And The Walking Dead. Like, The Walking Dead is going downhill. But not enough downhill to where you're going to be like, oh, you're going to kill like fucking better. <laughs> I'm like, what? I think... First season of The Walking Dead was the best. Dude, the first season was good. It was Just only because episodes, everything so. was new. You know what I mean? It was an introduction. Hmm. It was way scarier. Hmm. The zombies posed a threat, whereas it, it was more about the zombies and then a little bit about the people. Well, the whole purpose of the whole show was supposed to be about people living in a zombie environment. Right. Like, it was not supposed to be about zombies. And, like, like about, like, all this crazy shit. You know, a lot of the shit and why it's gotten so much amped up and ramped up with zombies is because fucking supply and demand. Dude, that's what people want to see. Like, you know what I mean? They had, they had to do it or people are going to not watch it. You know what I mean? So they just fucking ramped up the goddamn zombie shit because they found, out, they found out not enough people want, like, to fucking have the, like, Game of Thrones-esque in a sense, like, like, yeah, it would have been more almost, like it was supposed to be more. more I think more people about, want like the zombie. Yeah, they wanted challenge the deceit versus the yeah. people challenge. Well, it, it, it was supposed to be a zombie challenge, 
but it was supposed to be about these people having that challenge, but more of, like, in their minds, and you know these people, and, like, you fucking, you know what I mean? Like, you fucking, you're going through this, they're living in this world, and you're seeing how they're reacting to this world. It isn't always going to have, you're not always going to see zombies, and you're going to have well, human Well, it just turned into, the zombies are a minor threat, and the people are the major threat. Like, the other people. Oh, yeah, now it has. Yeah, 100%. and I think like, that's all it is now. Like, zombies wanted, don't mean anything anymore. I think what people like, yeah. wanted were was, like, more zombie threat. No, I can get that. I can get that. Other human threat. Yeah. But, I don't know. I mean, this is an interesting aspect, though, because it is, like, mass scale amount of people, which is, like, able to be what would be the perfect thing to mass scale counter, like, zombies, you know, and people, all these groups are around each other, even though they're not, like, always happy. It, and they're clearing honestly, out, so that makes sense I that mean, there wouldn't be that many if, zombies around. If a zombie apocalypse ever happened and got to that point mm-hmm. where people God, were rebounding, so stuff. I'm sorry. it probably would turn out like that, where it would be, mm-hmm. like, rival groups of people like fighting people. each other and shit. I guarantee that's probably... 100%, I'm sorry, I don't care realistic. who you are, you have to be atheist to join my group. I'm making the group that's all atheists, and we're fucking gonna fucking live that shit all the way. Ooh. Or just die really fast. <laughs> Here we no. go. Here we go. Oh, I want to Spicy, know. juicy, juicy, spicy. Master Poopy says this. NASA mission to protect the moons of Jupiter was actually a preliminary test for the Lucifer Project, mm, which Lucifer. is a plot to turn Jupiter into another sun. My question is, what good would that do us <laughs> wouldn't that destroy us would that is is this is that like, why it's the lucifer project just to destroy humanity is this by making it a sun or? is this like the devil yeah is the devil's is the way devil's, of like um because for, if it's the devil that, i'm already oh. fine with that not being real because i don't believe in the devil just like i don't believe in any fucking fairy tales you know what i'm saying that's just my opinion i mean i mean there's a lot of evidence towards my opinion and what I can read and see and watch and, and like observe proves my opinions. But um, if you can show me any evidence of anything else, I'm, I'm all open. But uh, no. Um, so if there's a devil thing into it, I'm already down for like... <laughs> da, 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 da. Oh, okay. like a, there's a new uh, there's a new end of the world. It's like... I don't know what the fucking date was. God damn it. I fucking forgot the date. But there's another, a new, there's a new like Christian end of the world day. The end of the world. <gasps> Yes, I, yes! I love End of the World Dude, Day. no. We have to do what the other guy did. Fucking insurance for their pets. So we'll take care of their pets Ooh. whenever they're fucking in yeah, heaven. Yeah, if you die, we're if when gonna, you're, when you we're go to heaven. No, 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 they don't pets. die. They're just going to heaven. Like, you know, they're all going to disappear and go to heaven. That's how they think it. It's the rapture. God's going to come bring so all the, the pets. Stay that's here. like the way that, yeah, the pets don't have souls, according to Christians and shit like that. They don't uh. have souls. So what we do is we tell them, hey, man, y'all are all going to get sucked up to heaven. We're atheists. We say fuck you. They're gonna we're gonna go to hell. Satan's gonna walk around and fuck us in the asses, here. right? We're but if you want your animals taken care of for a small fee of five hundred dollars per animal, we'll take care of them. We will take care of your animals yeah. in the apocalypse, in the event of the apocalypse, which is definitely happening whenever happening. the new date is. The new date, we'll he find it. Is saying yeah, we and Christian we'll Bible says so pets. according to the date. And well, hey, we'll watch after the family members that you know aren't making it yeah, as well. If you have like atheist family members or something, we got you. or like maybe like, children that maybe you just can't get fuck, to, and, they and they're atheists, they won't see them. we'll take care of them we'll too. Help them. We'll, we'll help them out. We'll rally the troops. We'll uh, make. We'll feed and water the, the everybody that needs yep. it. Yep, five hundred dollars per head, animal we'll or take, human. We don't care. We five hundred bucks. Dollars beforehand, though. Yes, you Obviously. have to five hundred dollars. You have to and, send that well, immediately. It's, it's $500, and then after it happens, we go and we have the information to pick them up and do everything. You know what I mean? Absolutely. After it happens. Send us the so info. as soon as it happens. And then, we need their name, but, obviously. And after you pay, there is no return. You know, you know, there's no return policy, as in you've paid for the insurance. You've, like, paid for it. You know, you're signed and good. You know, God is coming to pick you up. You need help. We've got your back. We've got your back. We're like the Ghostbusters, but in a different way. And like, that's way yes, cooler than exactly. that. Exactly. I think we got this, man. I, I'm super happy that we can be of service to you guys. So let your friends and family know. Spread the word. Spread the, the world word. is ending, and we will we take care of We are here help. to help. Uh, Broad City is what it's called. Mm. That that show. She said so good, not better or worse, just different and special in their own Broad way. Broad City. That makes sense. That's the the comedy with those two girls that okay yeah it yeah. says better yeah, but it's than not, Game of Thrones. It's not Game of Thrones. Like, no, it's you not. Go but she's right. It is different. Big J Custom says if you want some good TV, check out Sons of Anarchy, Continuum, I've Stargate, seen... Dark Matter. 
I want to watch uh, Star Trek with you. Remember, like you said, you wanted to rewatch it. I've never seen it, so it's like like the movies, like all the shit that you said, like Star the series Trek? or whatever. Oh, Battlestar Galactica. Battlestar. Galactica. I don't want to watch Star Trek. No, 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 no. That was shit. I like the new movies. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, the no, first no, no. two. I'm talking about Battlestar Galactica. Battlestar Galactica. I would watch that. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna watch I definitely all those. Want to see that? I want to watch all that. I want to watch Firefly. Oh, um, Firefly! I've never is seen so that. Good. Um, two there's like a, I want to I want to watch the season. I want to see it. Yeah, of course I fucking okay. Um, I've uh, uh oh I, yeah. Uh, I've never seen season three of uh the 100, and I like the 100, so I'd like. To I've watch, never seen it. I'd like to watch season three. I'm down. Let's do so it. So the anarchy. I made it to like season five before I was like, eh. Hey. I'm just like, eh. I think I saw the first season and I thought it was okay. Yeah. I thought it was decent. Like, I would probably watch the whole thing, but there's just so much stuff that keeps coming out that... And I don't really sit down Dude, to watch a lot. you so know what like, I... I don't, I don't know. 100% when it comes out, is going to watch the live-action TV show, apparent, uh, Cowboy Bebop, live-action. That's who he's talking live. Wait, what? They're going to make a live-action oh, Cowboy Bebop what? show, yeah. Really? Apparently, yeah. Like, I'm hoping they're just... Dude, all you need to do, please fucking Jesus, all gods, I will suck your cocks and lick your pussies and suck on your elephant trunks if that's what you have. I don't care what god you are, I will let you fuck me in the asshole. Just fucking remake the shows in live action. I mean, you could change a little bit of shit, but, like, that's it. It'll be fucking amazing, I guarantee it. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh my god. I don't know. We got some good stuff, dude. Okay, let's get some yes. good stuff. Okay. okay. Master Poopy. We're going to catch up with Master yeah, 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 yeah. Poopy. Sorry, yeah. I like where Master Poopy is going. He says, there are two types of UFOs. The ones we build and the ones they build. Ooh. Uh, there is in existence a fleet or fleets of human spaceships charged with monitoring alien traffic throughout our solar system. That'd be dope as fuck. And even defending our solar system in the event of extraterrestrial attack. Said they've seen evidence of this alleged project commonly called Solar Warden. It's worth a Google. Okay. Boom. Yeah, well, I'm going to Google... I'm going to drop that in our little Google search. That way we don't forget... We hey. are really baked. What up, Evil Eye Johnny? So we like to be on top of things. Evil I Solar Warden, the secret space program. Yeah, there's a movie right there. Oh, right? dude. Like, Look let's at watch that. that. 45 minutes. Yeah. Huffington Post talking about it. There we go. Okay, so. Well, what would be the benefit of not informing the people on planet Earth that there is all this going on? I mean, I guess, like... In all in all, atheism has to superiorly, like, take over like it is already doing before this is going to happen because, like, God's existing would be, like, the whole fucking, oh, my God, my fuck my sister and Jesus is real. Aliens can't be real. I'm going to have to kill it. You know, that would is still a thing. And, like, so we have, I, to, we have to get rid of that, I guess. First, I'm more, they're gonna be like, like, I would lean towards what Master Poopy is saying is real. Then I would say that a god is. Real. Oh, hundred percent. You know what I mean? Like, no, a hundred, a hundred. I could actually I would see all of that back being shit. realistic. Yeah, and that's the more realistic to me. Hides it from us mm -hmm. for some reason or then another. Then Jesus, the guy that has never proven himself because there is no evidence and nobody can show you evidence of Allah, <laughs> Jesus, fucking Neptune, yeah, whatever fucking god. Wait, you I mean, that about, seems you know legit. Saying? Actually, that it, seems this actually legit. seems like something plausible. I would like, not put it past the government to be like, ah, we better not inform the people fucking stupid that there's people. actual extraterrestrials that we're constantly at war with. We don't want them freaking out. Well, why are we at war? Why do they have to be, well, you know what I mean? Like, I, don't, I have no idea. You know I mean? like, there could just be a Who whole knows? fucking civilization and like fucking people chilling. I mean, like, here's, here's the thing. We're humans. Chances are we're trying to kill them. Is my guess. Like, yeah. We're humans. We're because of religion. <laughs> like, I guarantee it. Like, or, no, no, more likely, if it's the government, the government's after resources. So they might have, like, oh, a no. resource-rich planet that we want. Yeah. But, like... And we're just like, I can yeah. see them being... A lot of we're government... Go ahead and take a lot that. of that head of government Fuck. is really religious, and they really believe in Jesus, and they fucking praise that guy's penis in his mouth. Like, and then they fucking... So That's it's true. like... That's a, There's a that's, lot of that. That's a lot of dumb fucking people. And, like, that's, like... That's why I'm so happy that over 5,000 people that are scientists have started to sign up for politics. And, like, I'm going to start making please, sure my votes are scientists. Please, scientists. 
Please oh, flood you're an atheist? the system. Let me fucking flood check your fucking the box. system. I would 100%. love a scientist taking over Congress. Who has a non-bi- Who would have a non-biased the opinion? Senate? Hundred percent. Like How? that would be amazing. Let's think about Can it. Can we guys. get like a scientist hmm. into the, okay. uh, in, as a president? I'm a person. Can we do that? Who believes in a god? And I think that my God is right, my God is holy, and my God is gonna is what I'm gonna go see when I die because I'm a good person. Okay? Now, I'm gonna rule a country without biased opinion, but I believe in Jesus, and he is right without any evidence. And if you don't believe I'm in right, Jesus, you're then wrong. you're wrong. And like people, And I can now come after you. And my you Bible for that. gives me roles. Like I can come after you for not believing yep. that. Exactly. Wait a minute. So how do you get rid of bias hmm. like that? Oh, hmm. when you don't believe in anything, so you're just human being and you're for the humans? I feel like that's a good way to be like, wow, I want to see the best side of both things. So, you know, let's fucking figure some shit out. I don't know. There's a lot of shit going on in chat. What's up, guys? Okay, so, Master Poopy, we're going to continue with Master Poopy. Yes. He says, do you really think that our humanity could handle that if they told us the truth? It's proven no, that no, we no. share technology with them. Some of alien races have underwater bases. All the military planes and ships that disappeared in the, the Bermuda Triangle disappeared because they were going to work at the alien base. That'd be cool. I don't care, man. I'm for aliens. I'm 100% for that. I'm 100% for That's like... That's crazy. If there's like this whole organization of aliens theory, and humans but... and all this fucking shit going on, I'm happy. <coughs> I'm on your side. Yeah, I'm going to be freaked out at first when I see some weird-ass shit that I've never seen before because they're aliens. I can't even comprehend what that might be. You know what I mean? Unless unless this is what's going on. Government working with Hollywood. Hollywood makes movies with aliens. Aliens look more like aliens that actually exist in reality because they know what they actually they're look like slowly. because they're trying to slowly help us understand. Ooh. Let's there think about some shit, yes. boys and girls. Yeah! Okay, we got, wow, we got a lot Ooh. here from Space Kid. Yeah, yeah, what's up, Space Kid? Okay, so here we go. She says, I feel like intolerance can go so many ways. I see how Christianity could benefit someone in certain aspects of society, no, even listening. though I don't believe in it most of the time. I'm not going to judge someone for being Christian because that is intolerant and slightly close-minded. You are free to believe whatever you want, but the moment you tell someone that what they believe is believe in isn't logical or valid, then you become just as close-minded as the Holy Crusader, bro. <laughs> just my opinion as someone who doesn't hold myself to any certain belief. We can never know the ultimate truth, man, but we can respect other people's beliefs no matter our own. And see, that's where people are wrong. Look, we can respect other people's beliefs as long as those beliefs don't start affecting humanity. But they already do. And here's the problem with religion, is when you believe in religion, you you also, almost all religious people will teach their children the same way. They will brainwash their, ch their children to think the same thing. And the problem with religion is people use religion to control the masses. People die for religion. People are oppressed because of religion. If religion was a good thing and there was only good that was caused by religion, then I could see like keeping religion around a good thing, right? Because it does good. But we know from history, we know from the current times that people die in the name of religion. There they was a kill female in the name of religion. There was a female in the Middle East, that was whipped a hundred times and is now in the hospital because a man that wasn't her husband saw her face. <gasps> and that's because of religion. And this is why religion needs to be wiped out. I am an atheist that says there could be a god because there is a scientific theory that there could be a god. Is there a man-made god we have that no we can idea. read a book? No, I agree with you. There is Nobody knows the answer. And when you have a book that tells you the answer, you're automatically fucking wrong. And all religions in that sense are wrong. And that's how I see it. Every religion is man-made except... Wait, no, every religion is man-made. What am I saying? Like, like, there could be a god, but there's nothing that we it's, have in a book. Yeah, it's 100% you know, we can't read a book possible about it. Like, that there's a god. Yeah, like, come on. Who fucking knows? Look, we can't know for sure, but we know that religions are man-made. And that's, that's there's shit enough evidence. That, like, real. There's enough evidence like, about and that. And when like, you start killing people in the name of religions 
and you can manipulate Christians people burning abortion in the clinics name of this belief. While people are in there, it's unfortunate. Look, we've had enough history with it that we know people do bad things in the name of it. So as much as I want people to be able to believe whatever they want, I do. I mm-hmm. want people to believe in gods. I don't give a fuck. Yeah. But it's obvious that those beliefs have turned into really bad things mm-hmm. throughout history. Well, and it's science. So guess what? Science Logically, is working on this now. all we have to do is say, get rid of those insane beliefs and we will move on as a race together. The laws for slavery... Like, the, the laws are in the Christian Bible. <laughs> like, do I need to say anything else? Like, what the fuck, people? Come on, it's not hard. I'm sorry. I'm a piece of shit when I talk about religion because I fucking hate religion. I hate all religions. And I always will. Because they're fucking he- they're ruining society. And science can prove that. And okay, so Space Kitty says, Misuse of a religion is unfortunate. I totally see the shitty aspects of it. Trust me. As someone on the LGBT spectrum, I've witnessed the harsh results of misread morals. I just feel like telling someone what they can and can't believe is not the best way to go about things. No. I, look, I, I wish... You it's wouldn't a have to tell somebody. Yeah, you shouldn't to not have to tell somebody something. to not but believe in a god. That should be a fucking it's thing. That, it's it's brainwashed into children, and it keeps being brainwashed into children over and over and over and over and over. And that's why it still exists. Gods always die. Science stays the same. That's the thing. Science is already. We shouldn't out. have to tell people yeah, what they why? believe. Hey, why but do we have to tell people? It's gotten to a point where these beliefs <laughs> like, the hurt other people. So it gets to a point where you have to say. Look, you can no longer believe this because you hurt people in the well, name of it. And they have proven it. Like, this is like stuff that science has worked on. Whenever you believe in something, like Jesus Christ, when you believe in a God, you have a part of your brain that you, and I'm sorry, I don't mean to sound like an asshole. Like, when I just get hyped up, I talk fast, and I, I some people think I'm angry. I'm not. I just, this is how I'm, I get fucking like, whoo. But okay, there's a part of your brain that gets strengthened. And that part of your brain is the part of your brain that makes you believe in something without even evidence. The part of your brain that makes you be like, oh, it's dark over there. There might be something scary in there. The part of your brain that whenever they hook up sensors to your brain and you're religious, they can make you think or make you feel like there's somebody in that room. But when you're atheist, they can't. Like proves what religion can do to somebody's mind. Proving what it's doing to humanity and why we can't further ourselves because religion is holding us back. Racism, sexism. There is so much bullshit that is justified There's through so re- much religion. It's so it's, we got to get rid of religion but if we ever really, get anywhere. Look, Space That's Kitty, my she, says, she says, I see what you're saying, podcast, and I just want to sum it up. I want to sum it up. Yeah, I'm sorry. I, I, I mean, no, we're no, going no. on. I'm not trying to be a space kid. Like, we're not trying to be assholes like, either. That's Neither one thing us, we talk about a lot, though. You get passionate about this kind of stuff. And here's what we like and love and want, really. Conversation. Is Think. that that's the best no, part? No, that's yeah, absolutely that. Think, but is that there's so many things that already separate us as humans. We're always gonna find divisions. Okay, he has different hair. He looks different. He's taller. He's bigger. Humans are naturally gonna notice these divisions between themselves and other people. The last thing we need is more of these divisions. Religion. It's a man-made division, and one of the most fucked up ones. That causes people to fight. Borders are another one. That's really Political fucked up. Parties. It's a man-made division that people fight over and die over <coughs> constantly. Political parties. <coughs> All of these things that we make up as humans that divide us, <coughs> fuck us over. If we want to move on as, We're a human, as the We're human species. species, which is what we are. We're all the same thing. I don't we care are. where you're from, what Doesn't language what you sex, speak, what color what you color, are, what sex you are. We are all one. It, we are the like, same come on. fucking People, thing. And, it's like, and then even on a molecular level, fuck. we're made from the same <coughs> Everything. Okay? We are literally from nec- all the same fucking everything. thing. Everything. It's amazing. Is. Like, that's beautiful. So stop killing each other because you think something is different. Nothing is different. It's all literally the same based on the way the universe created it. Like Neil deGrasse Tyson said it's it. Insane. He said, and the thing that's so special about us is that we're not different. It, the thing that's so special about us is how similar we are. 
That's what's so amazing. How we are such the same fucking species. We're the same thing. We're supposed to be working together. But we have to find these stupid human man-made fucking separations. And that's what keeps us down. It keeps us fucking down here instead of fucking flying up there. You know what I mean? Like, goddamn. And it's just fucking so sad. And, like, I know I'm just a young kid that fucking smokes weed, and I just watch documentaries, and I like to learn and listen and talk to people. But what the fuck? What does it take to get people to think about these kind of things or understand in a different way? Like, you know, like, it's so sad. It's so fucking sad, man. Like, I'm going to die before this ever it gets resolved. You know what I mean? I'll be fucking long oh, yeah. gone. Unless, like, fucking, come on, aliens, please attack. Let's go, baby. Let's do it, man, because we can just fucking wipe this if shit we out. Find aliens, and we're fucking good. We can just will wipe the fucking religion thing out, together. and we can stop I thinking think about fairy tales. Everybody would just join together and be like, "Push Holy on, shit. Like, come on." Woo. Okay, so oh, uh, let's fuck. see. Skull Wolf T dropping in. What's up, Skull Wolf? I know What's Mitch is in here. He Mitch says, "My mom food. says I'm the devil. If I walk in church, it might burn down." My mom used to tell me that shit too. Is she Catholic? <laughs> yeah, my mom's super religious as well, and like yeah. fucking like a, like seventy percent of kids in America that are coming out of religious families are not sticking to religion at all. Like atheism, it's the number one more than Muslim. Muslim it was the, is the number one religion, like the highest, biggest religion, right? So Christianity thinks they're special, but yet. Oh, like five million Muslims will die and go to hell because they don't believe in Jesus. Let's think about that concept. Five million people are going to go burn in hell because they don't believe in your God? Woo! That's a good concept. But, um, uh, so they're bigger and the biggest, right? But the number one growing ideology right now in the world is atheism. And that's the beautiful thing. Woo! And it's because we keep spreading it, baby. Just okay. Keep spreading it. I'm sorry. Okay. Right, let's stop. Yes. Let's talk to chat. Let's be funny. Yo. Let's. Mitch Luke. Mitch, 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 Mitch Luke Mitch. says, fascinatingly high. Oh. Who here is wrecked? Yo, I'm baked at, out of my gourd. Like dab, dude. Baked out of my gourd. I got a buzz. I'm yeah. feeling silly in yeah. my pants, Damn. dude. I love Mitch Luke. What's going on, brother? Good to see you. Evil Eye Johnny. What's up, guys? Uh, he says, damn, maybe stay away from the church then. Yeah. yeah. Don't want to yeah, burn that don't shit. Don't burn up in it, okay? Don't do it. Uh, uh, Space Kitty says, might have stepped on the anthill here. Oh, Space Kitty, <laughs> you mentioned religion. Chances no, are we'll we're going to gobble it up. I fucking... I mean, we'll I just go. fucking... It's so important because that's us. Like, come on. We'll go, we'll go hard on that shit. I'm Absolutely. just trying to help everybody, man. Like, Yeah. It's all good. We, you know... And, and when more you watch, if you've seen more, I of hope this there show, are a whole bunch of how yeah. often this happens. And I hope there are a lot of people that are religious that watch this and are like, "Man, these guys are fucking weird." And then they go and think because that's all I want. That's all podcast wants to do. We want to talk about everything and anything in whatever kind of specific detail or not specific detail and whatever kind of random theory or religion or whatever because of the fact that if we can get somebody to start thinking on their own or start thinking about different things and thinking about opinions because they're like, oh shit, that's what happens. You should just think, 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 think. Everybody should just fucking think. That's all you fucking do, you know? Do, uh, think you for know, yourself. Do some thinking exercise. Get information. Get information. Think stink, stink. And go look at for more information on that same subject from different sides. Read that shit and develop your own opinions. And that's the most beautiful thing you can do. And that's what we're trying to promote. And I guess that's why I fucking immediately will jump on religion because that's the, the killer of promoting ideology. Ideology, thinking for yourself, having an open mind is a negative in religion. It's bad to ask questions. And that's such a bad thing. And that's, oh, I fucking... I, okay, I so Vulgar Sorry. Dreamer says, <laughs> all girls Catholic school, now I'm atheist. I fucking love it. No Hell doubt. yeah. I wonder what the, like, percentage of people, people that go to all Dude, girls Dude, I was watching some fucked up shit. Like, this girl... Religious schools Dude, this come girl out saying atheist. that she was, like, fucking thrown into, like, an adoption agency at a church. And, like, she, thought, she said at the very beginning, it was, like, seemed nice, right? And she threw up because she, like, felt sick or whatever. But as soon as, like, the fucking her person that left her there left, the lady, like, one of the nuns was like, if you don't fucking clean it up, I'm going to make you eat it. And then there was, like, this oh, fucking... Oh, there was this fucking... She was, like, eight. Fuck. Dude. And, like, I'm there was this fucking... There was this routine. She had, oh, excuse me, she had to go clean the pews and shit. She said that she would go there and the preacher would make her sit on her lap and play with his fucking dick and shit. And, like, she was talking about all the Jesus fucked up things Christ. about religion and, like, being at the 
that shelter wow. and how fucked up it was and like how that was her That's whole so life. Crazy. That's how she grew up. How dude. old was she? Now? She was like eight, and I don't know. She was like probably in her forties now. Like was, she was talking about the story. Like, so and it's fun. so fucked. So I can, like, I'm not saying Dude, that's I'm everybody. So, I'm just saying there's I'm a lot so of shit like that that's happy. happened. Like, I'm I'm so happy I was never molested because I went Dude. to a lot of Catholic churches. Yeah. Like, I and that's, Catholic that's and a high percentage, my family man. was Catholic, and I've been to a lot of Catholic churches. I'm yeah. happy that. I've been to a lot I of Catholic churches. I got away unscathed. I've been to fucking the Catholics, a Baptist. I was, uh, but my dad yeah, was Lutheran. Baptist, so, like, Lutheran the... was the main one, though, that I went to the most when I was a kid. Because my dad was Lutheran and that whole family was Lutheran. So, like, that was the main one. But, like, my mom was always, like, my dad, my, my grandpa was, like, uh, uh, Church of Christ. He's, like, super into, like, Church oh, of Christ and shit okay. like that. And, then, like, you know, I saw a family yeah. that believes in different shit. But Is I'm, that like, Latter day Saints? Stupid. Annoying no, Church of Christ. Church of Christ. Lutheran, Lutheran Church, thing? No, Lutheran is Lutheran. Church of Christ is, like, just fucking a completely different, like, another part of, like, they believe in, like, strict, uh, like, they'll. No holidays, and it's like this. I don't know. I don't fucking know, man. Like, they have okay. their own thing. Yeah. Like, um, I like Sleeman's for beer. Wait, wait. Whoa, we got some beer talk. What? I tried my first IPA today. Hello, I don't IPA. know. So, I might gosh. stay to Bud Light. <laughs> what? Uh, IPA Ugh. is awesome. Bud Light is pee water. Okay, so here's what I gotta say, Skull Wolf. Ugh. IPA should be one of the last beers you graduate to. I would say if you're drinking Bud Lights, I would move on to different kinds of ales, pale ales, get like a fucking lagers. Try just try different. Go shock top. Try lagers. I would try say go shock top. Try the lighter beers. From, Stick uh, to the lighter beers, yeah. but don't. I would say venture out from Bud Light if you're looking to try new things. Well, you never know stuff. because like. I had only drank, like in the army when I was getting drunk and shit. It was all Coors like shit like that, and then I came here and that's when I started tasting them and I started liking them. I just like them. You know what I mean? That's what gave me the ability to drink. Now I can drink a fucking. But that's what I mean. Like, Arab start with something lighter, though. If that's what. Oh you're yeah, used like, to. like like if that's what you're used to, start with something lighter. But make sure to progressively and then work your you way know, up. Yeah. I thought you were IPAs, saying just like fucking no, no, stay no, in like light stouts range. and IPAs. Those two Go should like be the L, last right? beers you, like you ever or? really try and get into yeah. because they're the strongest, the most potent, the most flavorful. Like yeah. the in in the, the bitterness of the IPA. Yeah, the IBU. Yeah, the IBUs are going to be the highest in those. So you, you, what you really want to do is stick to the lighter beers, and then if you want to venture out from the light, light, just try other ales, pale ales, lagers, and then like from there you could start getting stronger beers. Dude, I feel like this beer is like a tea break. Like what the fuck, man? And I'm, I'm like, right feeling, there with you. I feel it's like, dude, hilarious. Okay, so this is the thing I want to try this. Um, so he bought, like, it was National Beer Lover's Day the other day. Oh, by the way, Johnny, Evil Eye Johnny, it's Oktoberfest. Yeah, from Samuel Adams. Sam Adams. Um, uh, he bought, he bought two, um, Arrogant Bastards, the, uh, big bottles, the, what, 16 ounces or whatever? You think it's 16 ounces or, like, the big bottle ones? Yeah, those ones right over there. What is that, 24 ounces? I think that's 24. Oh, 24. Ounces. Yeah, 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 yeah. He bought yeah. two of the 24, 24 ounce uh, Arrogant Bastards, and I fucking drank that. It was on a stream. I drank it like it was nothing. I fucking love that shit. It was smooth to me, right? I bet I could drink one after I was drinking these beers and uh, be like, <laughs> I don't know. Um, smoke something? Yes, I'm about to smoke something, but first, I think I'm going to grab some more drink. You need some water or anything? Um, do I need water? Sure. Right, yeah, I'll fill take it up. You need beer or anything? Nope, I'm good on that. Good. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay, let's see. I have a bunch of different ones I've been stuck on. Bud Light, I used to drink Guinnesses or whatever. Um, Bud Light is fucking water. Like, what the fuck? I can't drink that at all. It, I mean, some people love that shit. Like, I, I can't know. really judge. It's because it's... The fucking advertised, you know what I mean? Like that's why it's American well. I honestly, I, I think people they don't know. About I think a lot of people drink beer for different reasons, right? Some people maybe just like the effect and the really light taste, yeah. you know, and which is the introductory stuff. Bud Light, Coors Light, and then sometimes people move past it and they like. A different flavor, and they want to drink their beer for you know the flavor, for, for the bitterness, yeah. for the taste. And then some people just get stuck on, yeah, I just want to drink it a whole bunch. You know, I can drink ten Bud Lights because it goes down like water. I don't know. I like a good flavor. Yeah, yeah. But uh, Oktoberfest does feel pretty light. 
It is because we've been drinking so many IPAs. Yeah, like every one we, every it's time we go crazy. to Costco, we're getting like the IPA packs. You know, the ones that are all like, yeah. oh, I, IPAs and pill fucking. I mean, I mean, pill oils. Or the what is it? APAs, American pill oil. American pill yeah, oil. Yeah, the APAs are good. I too. gotta take a PP Jude. Jude's. <laughs> Jude's. 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 Judas hey. Priest. Hey, right. Jude. Justin Buff Sabers says, smoke something. So the first time you've ever been here, Justin Buff Sabers, you drop in and you just say, smoke something. It's oh. very rude. Okay, we smoke. Is it? A lot of marijuana really? on the cast. And oh, yeah. uh, to think that you could have such influence over us when you first stop in is. Absolutely absurd. It's absurd. You fucking okay. crazy person. <laughs> absurd. Think on that while I take a pee. Mm. Okay. You think on that, young man or little woman, fucking, you whatever little, you are. You little doodle snapper. Fucking no. I've been here, but I've been busy working. All right. Cheers, though. I'm a smoke. Hey, Skull Wolf. I'm about to smoke too. So. Usually you guys are in the woods in the day. <laughs> Hell yeah. Dude, we're in the woods in the night now, motherfucker. It's all scary and shit, dude. I just saw the background for the first time. And holy motherfucker. That's dope. Shit. Let's get all spooky and let's fog it up. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Fuck, I'm high as shit. Let's get more high. <laughs> Fuck. Let's play a World of Warcraft today. God damn, can't believe I'm back into that shit. I made a, uh, so on the topic we were on, let's just a little thing. I made a human priest named F Your Gods. I, mean, I don't know. It worked, and I'm not banned, so. Tychondrius. I like PvP. I have on my max level characters too, so fucking people trying to gank. Don't fucking, don't fuck with me. Heard new WoW patch is amazing. I have no idea. I have no idea, dude. Except I'm a fucking big Fire Mage fan. I used to love Fire Mage and play a lot of Fire Mage. And they have like a like so you used to only have the frost armor or the frost fucking shield, and it always looked like frost, right? Now as a Fire Mage, you get that fire one. It looks fucking dope. And I'm like, what? So that's all I really know about it, but <laughs> I don't know shit. Like my friend, my roommate fucking bought me uh, a game time. So I fucking just, he was like, hey, you want to play Demon Hunter? I was like, hell yeah. So I've been leveling up Demon Hunter with him. And he wants to level up a Warlock from level one. I'm going to level up a Priest. So. Judas cool. Priest. Judas Priest. Judas Priest. <laughs> hey, I am proud to announce the first ever disc golf hole in one. Oh, yeah. Well, no, we talked about that already, though. We did? Yeah. No, we didn't. No, we did. When? When we streamed. That happened yesterday, didn't it? No. We what? talked about that already? Yeah. Are you for sure? We dude? told you guys. He got a hole in one. Hole seven, right? It's hole I don't seven. I think we said that, did we? Yeah, it's hole seven. Did we talk about that? Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. Wow. I smoke entirely too much weed. Come on, dude! Holy shit. Come on, dude! Wait, uh, what's an OPA? Did we did we find that APA. out? APA. asking about that? What's an OPA? If y'all ever have the chance, try an OPA. Oh, I thought they were saying what's, what's an, an OPA? OPA. I don't know what an OPA is. A opium pale ale? Oregon pale ale? Mm -hmm. Opium pale ale. <laughs> I've been here, but oh, okay, I've been busy working. Usually you guys are in the woods in the day. What are you packing, nerds? What are you packing? This is some uh, Durban, the last of the Durban poison. Last of the poison. He's last about to get poisoned. Uh, the poison. I brought my brother in when y'all were D&D. &D. So if y'all see a TX Bongzilla roll through, that's my in real life brother. Dude, hell yeah. Hell yeah, dude. That's cool. That's what I'm talking about. Very nice. Oatmeal pale ale. Oh, dude, I love oatmeal stouts. I love oatmeal stouts. I bet I would love an oatmeal pale ale. I guarantee it. Yeah, that sounds really good. <coughs> Shaboinga. Shaboinga. There you go. I got Snoop Dream. It's bomb. Ooh. 
So that's one of the Snoop strains, huh? Snoop, yeah. I've never seen a Snoop strain in Colorado. any of the dispensaries you've ever been to. Yeah. It's <coughs> interesting. Is it more Cali shit? Probably. <laughs> he might, it might not even make it over here, to be honest. Probably all Cali. Yeah. A lot of that stuff, the star stuff is all Cali, because that's Hollywood, you know? Yeah, and they're really... Like, iffy, Oprah like you cannot... Cali. Send Not weed Oprah. across borders. Yeah, like Whoopi. Whoopi. The Whoopi Goldberg yeah. stuff. The Whoopi Goldberg. Apparently the syrups. We need to fuck. Have we got syrups yet? <laughs> fuck. Fuck. We gotta get it together, dude. We gotta get it together. <coughs> Jesus. I'm gonna start doing that cough like with cringe. <coughs> like, do you have an... <coughs> do you have an eye says, you know that cough that um, Ethan Klein does? Yes. Whenever he sees cringe, he's like, <laughs> yeah. he like, okay, he says he does that a lot now. <laughs> like, he got into it because he watched oh, so much. no, dude, that's not good, bro. Yeah, check this out, dude. This thing, this is a fucking joint that's not even finished. It's been left in there. Uh, he says, I got it here. I'll smoke some for you. No worries. It wasn't even finished, dude. Look at that. Look at that thing, dude. Thanks, fucking, I saw that in there. I was like, wow, that's, a, that's was quite a large portion of a joint right there. Granny's ready for a re-up. Gonna take her tomorrow. She's been going through those eddies. Yeah, dude. dude if uh, if uh, we do, dude, we need to uh, go to Nevada and do a podcast. Can your like Johnny can your grandma. can your grandma? Would your grandma want to be on a cast? And would you want to like? Could we? Would we have the ability? That would be amazing. Like go to That'd Nevada and like fucking do a podcast from over there. He doesn't live in Nevada, though. Not, oh, not even. Boy, he's just going to move to Texas. His, his, his granny does, though. Yeah, that's true. Maybe she has a yeah. last computer. Oh. Yeah, uh, she's probably know. all over there, like, playing PUBGs <laughs> and shit. Yeah, she could be, like, Granny Gamer. Granny like, they have, like, Gamer. Grandpa Gamer. There is Grandpa Gamer. So they need Granny Gamer. Dude, Granny Gamer. Yeah, yeah. I've seen Grandpa Gamer. That dude's, a, like, legit He's getting bigger now, like, because guy. people fucking, like... We're putting him up on like YouTube and shit, and it's oh, getting yeah? like, big as fuck. Like he's getting like a lot bigger now. Hell yeah, yeah. that dude's actually pretty dope. I've watched him for a bit. Yeah, I've seen him. Yeah, I jerked off to him. I was like, yeah, old man, get like, it, dude. PUBG. I'm not even into old dudes, but this guy, this guy, he just he gets it done. He gets you hard. He gets it done. Okay, that's, per- that's it. Period. Period. When dude. you, I'm not gay, but if you get it done, I'll jerk off to you. Something and like that. The man. grandpa gamer gets it done. Okay? Just don't forget it. Don't forget it, guys. Grandpa Gamer. Getting it done. Getting it, motherfucker. Damn, is this like popcorn, I'm dude? not a robot, dude. Hello. Hello, I'm this not a robot, like popcorn. dude. Tastes like popcorn. Tastes like popcorn? Well, I'm just really high. You're really high, dude. dude. You smell high. Like, I can smell how high you are. Have you ever smelled how high I am? Nope. Come on, come get some. What do you think? Smells really high, dude. Smells like high, right? Smells like a lot of weed up in that bitch. God damn, man. Shit tastes like pineapple. You just gotta. Little like light. Little stuff. You know what I'm saying? So, guys, we're cutting down to four casts a week. Next week. Starting next Wednesday. And they're only going to be night casts. Maybe. I don't know. I we don't so. know the schedule of how Initially, I think that's what's, that's what's going to happen. Yeah. Well, if I'm only working nights, and then I get Tuesday, Wednesday off. Yeah, we're not really sure. So we don't really know, but it's going to be forecasts. And, uh, yeah. So until... I'm super high right Until now. you get a job. Yeah, well, not... Uh, yeah. What's going to happen is starting next week, we're going to do... Wednesday night, Thursday night, Friday night, Saturday night. Yeah, yeah. And then that's it for that week. And then we're gonna keep. And going then we might that. do random casts throughout the week. Yeah, like they that's are, an option. Always. Those are that's like gonna be whatever. our regular schedule. And then we Wednesdays might, are gonna be always. We might do gaming casts, whatever. We might mix some random ones in there, but that will be what the new regular schedule is. Yeah, yeah. Okay. You're both baked. Yes, Cine Angel. Good call. So sorry, but... <laughs> fucking... Skull Wolf says, I suspect a robot. I because suspect Because I'm a not robot. a robot dude drops in and says... Oh, he's been here for a while. Dudes. Dude, he's been... 
We're not 100% Ugh. sure whether I'm Not a Robot Dude is a robot. Or I mean, yeah, dude. he could be a robot. He could be a female robot. You We're know? pretty sure that I'm Not a Robot Dude is... Because he's, he's a female robot? Some sort of a... Like I think he, it's some sort of a being. I don't even think it's a person or maybe a Maybe that is the universe switch account. I think so. I think that's you're the universe that's is switch account. The universe is talking to us. to us through I'm not a robot, dude. And it's teaching us a lesson through its name. Dude. That we are all the same. We are all one. That we're all not robots, dude. And none of us are robots, but all of us are robots. Wow. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Think about that. Well, well, I get in Thursday afternoon, and I have a tattoo at six. So if nice. Hey, if uh, the universe created us, could we be robots? Hmm. Technically, are we like universe robots? Yeah, maybe so. We're creations by the universe. I don't know. I really don't know. That? Dude, it's gonna get you good. Cause it's fucking really good, man. It's really good, man. It's fucking hitting like a motherfucking. It's out. Damn it. Went out, buddy. <coughs> it's hitting good, man. Oh, shit, wieners. Wieners and shit. Like, shit right on the wieners. Wieners in the shit. Like, it's fucking. Yeah. Whoa. It's hitting good, dog. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Nice. Yeah, that was good, dude. That was good. Nice. Man. Good find. Good find, man. Okay. <laughs> find a joint sometimes. There we go. All right. Uh, let's see. Crazy King dropping in. What up, Sorry, crazy dude? dude? Evil Eye Johnny says, that's cool. We've got to game it up sometime again. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely, dude. You got to play some more Bro Force, dude. I have like 19 hours down. in the game. Yeah. I can't believe it. Whatever you guys want to do, let's do I it. I can't believe I played that long. I'll like jump up, jump down, jump left, jump right. All of them. Whatever, dude. Yeah. I'm down. Yeah, yeah. I'm not a robot dude says, wow, I can't believe they cracked the code. You two just might be the chosen ones. We've Holy had a suspicion. Shit. We've had this suspicion for so long. Really? It's coming true, dude. The prophecy. We are the chosen what? ones. We, the prophecy is real. We've for had, real? we've thought about this for so long. Okay. And we knew it. Mm-hmm. We fucking knew it. Damn. We're the chosen two. Okay. The chosen ones. Podcast. Some people call us or the chosen two. Because podcast is the chosen one. Sure. So then that's yeah, yeah. one. If you're talking about two us two, it's yeah. we're the chosen two. But if you're talking about podcast as a whole, okay. the chosen one. Wow. Wow. What does that mean for us? Yeah, what 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 do we do now? So what yeah, how do we proceed from here? As the chosen ones. Yeah. Two. The chosen two or the chosen Dixon one? Dixon Highness, man. I'm fucking Fuck. Yeah, let us know because we're not sure. Yeah. We tell us what's up, dude. Thanks, though. Yeah. For confirming what we have yeah. always knew was true. I always thought about it before I went to sleep. I have to be one of the chosen ones. Yes. And then now I am, so I'm pretty happy about that. <laughs> Ooh, Hugh Mustard says, Bernard didn't know he was a robot until it was too late. Yeah. That was crazy yeah. as fuck. Bernard caught on a little slow. Yeah. So did everybody else. I didn't fucking know. I didn't either, either dude. Yeah. That one was crazy. Cause I, really, man. I had a feeling somebody that you didn't well, know I felt like was a, a robot, more but, more but I was, I didn't know who. I felt I like everybody like somebody else was a robot. I thought sure. everybody working there was. But I didn't know it was Bernard. I got what the whole fucking facility was, except for like certain people. <laughs> And they were all they still could be. Yeah, we might find out that literally that whole and, and thing like, is robots. And then like robots so they designed. Think, they think they're getting out, but actually there's a bigger picture that's looking at them, and they're all robots except for a few humans that are in the mix to make them look. Maybe like the it drama is, is that you stick robots in control of other robots. You make some robots think they're human. The other robots slowly wake up, and people are actually watching how the robots react to that. What the. F well, I hope that's season two. <laughs> that I hope that's crazy. season two, man. That would be crazy. Wow, dude, that'd be great. Everything is a setup. Everything is all for fucking one. ready for us to watch. Let's do it. I'm do ready. It. The chosen potholders, says Evil Ed Johnny. That's true. That's us. We are them. 
I'm not a robot, dude. It says, you just smoke hella weed, basically. That's all. <laughs> I feel like that's the answer, man. Crazy King says, the almighty smokers. The Buddha whispers, dudes, we have unlocked the secret to the universe. We are the code. We are, we? are the universe. What? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Together. Podcast and everyone out there watching, we are one. Okay. We are the universe, my friends. You never if know. you ever despair, please do not, for we are all one and we are all together always. It's the same thing, guys. Come on. You might be out in the woods lost and alone, but together, the human race. Same thing. You are one of us, and we all have an energy, and we transfer it through each other. I don't know about that. Oh, we do. Mm. I've seen it. I can see it with my eyes. Your energy is blue and yellow. Mm. My energy is green and blue. Oh. Yes, I see it around you. I'm uh, glad you see that. I see their energy. I see it all through the camera. I can tell. I don't know about that. Some energy is bad. Some energy is good. Most energy is somewhere in between bad and good. Okay. It's neutral. Yeah. Very cool. I know. That's why I told you. You're welcome, everybody. You are welcome. One for all and all for weed, says Evil Eyed Johnny. I can see that. I can see that. The three musketeers. I, it was I think would have wanted that. The four musketeers? Or is it no, it's the three musketeers. What? But There's there a was a fourth they added. Was it? The oh, no, wait. <laughs> wait, hold is on. Is it the four musketeers or is it the three musketeers? Wait, am I thinking. I don't... Am I thinking of a candy bar? <laughs> Whoa! Is the Three Musketeers a candy bar? Is it the Three Musketeers or is it the Four? Mu th I think the Three Musketeers is a candy bar. But no. is it the There's same? There's no candy bar called the Three Musketeers. Is the Three Musketeers. What if is the, the candy movie? bar's name is Four Musketeers? That would be. That would make sense. That would make way more sense. I'm pretty sure the movie is called the Three Musketeers, and they add a fourth. So it's the Four Musketeers during the show. After. After that movie. So before. maybe after that, it, yeah, it's the four and musketeers. And they made uh, candy after the f making the fourth. So candy. it's the four musketeers candy? Yes. You think that's it? Yes, like, I think you found it. Or yeah. is it I think both? That's the code. Are they both the three musketeers? Like, they made the movie called the three musketeers, and, and the candy, candy bar the is time. called the three musketeers. What? Not the same time, but uh, it's just like they, they're the same name. I don't know. It's, I don't, it feels like all of that is possible. All of those ideas are 100% Possible, they're on the table. It was three, you know? and they added one later on. Oh, mm -hmm. okay, okay. So there you go. So then it is the four musketeers. Okay, here we go. I'm not a robot, dude. Says I had such a shitty night. This stream is turning that around. Actually, making me laugh, dude. Hey man, I'm not a robot, dude. I like that sentence. So dude, you can laugh. So I'm not a evil. robot, dude. You know what I mean? So he can't be a robot. Or maybe he can robots laugh. Well, it says I'm not a robot, dude. So I'm assuming it's not a robot. So then is it a human girl? And that's why she is able so to So wait. Laugh? Yeah, yeah. That's the question. Here's the here's here's what we need definition of. Or, or uh, dis a description. Or if is I'm it, not a robot, I'm not you don't mean a human either. You could be like a fucking... I'm so. not a robot, comma, dude. As in, like, you're calling someone dude. Or is it... I'm not a robot, dude. Like, you're not a, you're a not male a robot. Male robot. Yeah. yeah. That's, that makes sense. I like that. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. That's whoa, whoa. the clarification we need. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. I'm not a robot, dude. There we go. We're not sure. Mm-hmm. Um, okay. Wait, this is a weed stream? I thought it was only pot. Whoa. Ho, 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 ho. Crazy King. Crazy King. Who the fuck said King, there was King. weed here? No, 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 no. We does do it, not smoke Does it look like there's weed here? Because I don't... We, if we Who said have, that? If we're presenting a stream in which y'all think there is weed here, we are sorry for what we have done. Because we are not here to present a weed stream. We are called Podcast, and we are about pot. We do not smoke weed. We smoke pot. 
And if you smoke weed, what the fuck is your problem? You better get off that. There has been scientific evidence that weed kills people. Stop smoking weed, switch the pot, and you'll be fine, okay? Okay. Podcast! So don't fucking think about that shit. Not too hard. Don't think about it. Seriously, guys. Okay? Okay? <clears throat> we only smoke pot here. Something like that. Yeah, baby! Foster Naked in Jail hey, dropping hey, in. Hey. Hello, 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 Mr. Foster Naked in Jail. Um, Let's see. Uh, Evil Eye Johnny says, it's just pot. Or if you're old, it's grass. Ooh, yeah, old dudes are like grass. Rest. The old dudes are like, hey, man, you want to smoke some grass, man? And they're like the true... Let's look at them. They're like the true hippies. Are the old people. Really? Yeah, the really old people. They're, Do you have any like family the, members that are true hippies? Family members? Yeah. No, not even close, dude. I wish. I would love a hippie. So you would say... My entire a... family, <sighs> extended, both sides, <sighs> is... Nobody ever smoked, really. Most of them were religious. Dude. My family is my mom's side of the family, poor religious. My my dad's side of the family, rich religious. Wee! Rich religious. And they both believe in Jesus. <laughs> so it's like the same religion, but they're both just like the rich. Because there's two, there's cla- you know, religions have classes, you know, just like fucking money. You know what I mean? Like, there's a richer fucking church you can go to in a fucking poor church. Yo, you can you go know? to Scientology if you want. Oh shit, you can go to Scientology. I'm talking if you about want even in Christianity. You, you know what I mean? Like, be even, like the even like in Christianity. You know people. what I mean? Like they have churches that are all like high scale. Fucking the rich people go there. You know, like yeah. they're oh, oh, like fucking you know. It's so yeah. Stupid, man. It's so fucking weird. I injected weed once. Wow. Now I'm a robot. Okay, Dude. I can feel that, homie. Nice. Yes. That, yeah. Be right, be right back needs to OPA up. Get it, dude. Evil dude. Like Johnny. Evil like Johnny. Dude, I want that's going to be cool. We need to find one. Because we'll Let's go to we... Molly's. Oh, because that's we'll like so big. One. I bet they'll have like a, like, man, I hope. It After has... I get off work tomorrow, I I'll swing want Molly's. to buy, like go to Costco and buy one of those big things of oatmeal and start making just like plain oatmeal and you put a little bit of cinnamon in it and like you know, like cut up some banana. Like you know how I make oatmeal? Water, milk, butter, oatmeal. Mix it all up. Stir it up. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> That's so good. Make dude. it nice. Make it rich. You, put, you ever put raisins in it? I uh, love. Oh, and raisins. brown sugar. Yeah, raisins and yeah, brown, yeah, sugar, brown sugar. Have you ever done that? I've never actually put raisins dude, in it though. That's I've the had, only difference. I've had That's the only difference. Brown sugar I've sugar. had everything exactly yeah. like that with with the milk, the butter, the everything, water. You know all that shit. But I and, and but I've, we've added raisins and it's so like it's like because they pop and it has that flavor and it's just like. Mm! What do you think about Shit. cream of wheat? Cream of wheat. Did you ever have cream, cream of wheat? wheat? Um, I think I did. Yes, and I think I, I like it all. Any anything that I can make fast cream like that. Cream of wheat I was weird it because oh, wait, it was look, like this cream weird of wheat sand was like a grainy look, yeah, stuff. Yeah, it looked and like sand. It was perfect though because it made, like it would make like the, it would fill the whole thing. It turned into this like poofy. Yeah, and like oh, and it would, just, you would eat it and it would like fill you up so much. I want to get a whole bunch of that shit. Cream of wheat was so good. I wish we had that. It was so good. Dude. And then you just put a bunch of brown sugar Safeway, in that, too. Same Safeway thing, same way you make oatmeal. Safeway would definitely be open, and that's like $2. <laughs> that was the best meat. part, is you could buy, like... You gotta have milk. milk. It's so cheap. Yeah, so you have milk. You need Fuck, and the milk butter. fucking... The milk just went expired. Like, yeah. Or it has yeah, been expired. Gone. But, God damn. But, uh, dude, that shit's fucking yes. good as fuck. Yes, it is, dude. Cream of wheat tastes so good wow. in my mouth. Dude. And that's because, like, man... I don't even know. I definitely want to get some now because I'm excited for Queen Week. Because, like, that shit's just, like, perfect. I don't care if it gives me cancer. If they tell me it's going to give me cancer, I'm going to get cancer because I'm going to keep eating Queen Week. I'm going to get it and I'm just going to keep. I'm going to live off that shit now. Okay? Yeah, I agree. That's it. I that's agree. that's my life now. It's like okay? two, three bucks for a box. There we go. Box lasts us forever. A forever. Or close. A forever. Close to it. Yeah. Close to us. Yeah, forever. get it. Okay. Oh, yeah. Love that, says Cindy Angel. Evil Eye Johnny says, I left. Came back and they're still talking about oatmeal. <laughs> <laughs> cream of wheat, baby. And cream of wheat, dude. Get cream, your cream of wheat. Of on, motherfucking dude. wheat is where we're gonna do it. We're gonna fucking tweet. And it's gonna be good. I like cream of wheat, baby. Never been in the hood. Baby, show me them titties. Yeah, I smoke weed and drive fancy cars. Pow, pow. 
Yeah. Drop it in the beats. Dude, that was disgusting. I can't believe the track you just laid down. Is that the... Is that the intro to the next... TPC album? I don't know. It's possible. Who knows? We dropped so many hits here on the cast that... You never really know what is going to be used as, like, a hit or just a single track or, like, maybe even just a sound. <coughs> like, it doesn't. Who knows? Yeah. And they're used around the world by companies everywhere. Doesn't matter. NBC, ABC. Who are these? I'm going to take a six-foot bong grip. <sighs> yeah. What? Yeah. What? Oh, Why would you? Yeah. You just dropped. <laughs> you dropped. <laughs> <coughs> After I hit the dab, you hit me with, oh, I'm going to take a single bomb or a cavalry and think I can't just, think I can just like let you do that by yourself. Like, you fucking wait until 420 King Bong is here. He <coughs> says, every time I come in lately, you guys are rapping. Dude. We've done that a lot. It's our new career. Evil Eye so. Johnny says, What's up, 420? Oh, King Do I need ball? to drop a beat? You want to drop a beat, dog? You want to drop a well, beat? Well, let's drop some beats, but let's take some 6 foot ball groups first. I'll grab the weed up. Because, dude, I didn't like, man, you fucking... Marijuana! Good timing to tell me you're going to take a 6 foot ball group. Like, I was not expecting that at all. Like, dude, we can measure it now because we're going to get it. Wow, hello, guys. We measure this podcast. Um, how much it's higher than me or lower than me. Let's see if it, I thought it was like that, that much. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was, it was pretty close, though. Yeah. How's it going, 420? How you doing, dude? How's the stream? I've been seeing it going good, dog. Uh, 420 King Bong created 420 and Friends, which is a streaming community. And uh, he's a chill dude. Because we used to be in high-end streaming together. So go check him out, dudes. Okay, here yeah. we go. This is cool. All right, What's up? I like this. Well, somebody says with a lot of stuff. Master Poopy says, have you heard Poopy. about the fictional realism theory? This is the most fascinating branch of multiverse theory. Superman is <sighs> real. Yes, some of you would probably choose a different story for argument's sake. Harry Potter might be real too. This branch of the theory argues that given an infinite number of universes, everything must exist somewhere. So, all of our favorite fiction and fantasy may be descriptive of an alternate universe. One where all the right pieces came into place to make it happen. Well, that's what, like, I've told you about. Like, I, I talked to him about, like, I don't know if this is a theory I guess anything, that's true. But I thought, universe. remember I told you I was like, anything that we can imagine or see is real. Yeah. I said, like I told that I think, have thought like, of, imagine that. Imagine, real. I think, imagine anything. Any movie you've ever watched, anything you've ever seen... Just because we can think it, the ability for us to even imagine it is because it's a real thing in a different universe. And I, we, we've talked about that before. So yeah, that I 100% am down with that. You know, look, 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 there, yeah. you know what I'm saying? I'm 100. That smells so, so fucking good. But uh, yeah, dude, I'm a, I'm right there because I think I think and dude, the multiverse theory is a thing that people are backing and starting to work on, and like it seems legit. And I fucking am 100% backing that shit too. So you never know, motherfuckers. Who knows? He also says the theory includes that people that come up with the shows that we watch the idea is beamed into their head from a different universe. <laughs> what the fuck? That's crazy. Well, I don't, I'm not going to go into that. Who knows much. about that part? But. I fucking, I do think, like, in the sense of, like, it being real and, like, actually the, our consciousness or us being able to think it is because it's a real thing. Yeah, King Bong says, so that, maybe but. our imaginations are actually our minds tapping into other realms. Yeah. That's weird. That's that weird would be because amazing. Because what if I, the things yeah. we think about... I like that shit. ...we're pulling from some other reality? We don't know. We don't and know then, what a thought is. How, what what is do? an idea and a thought? What and we, how is it original? Yeah. How do you, do, is how it original? It, is it yeah. original? Like, exactly. Is it, like, are we really... Is this something that we create? Now, my thing is, is uh, I have no idea what I was going to say right there. Here's the thing. Okay. Oh, here we go. What's this? Babylonian. New Bronxes. What? Is it music? Bass. Oh, it's a beat! Rap beat. Oh! I was like, I thought this was like some theory thing that we are going to watch and like talk about. Oh my god, I'm hot as shit right now. Alright. 
Well, we gotta take six foot bomber if it's gonna wrap, dude. You know what I mean? You gonna pause this or you know what I'm saying? Or are you gonna do this first? I don't know. It's up to you, dog. You do yeah, we can do those first. I don't care. Well, I thought like you'd want to be prepared. You know what I mean? Like you want to get that. Yeah, that's how you get prepared is by doing a six foot bomber that'll bring on the best lyrics that you could ever possibly think of. Exactly. We don't want to do it prematurely. So. Okay. You gotta get the six foot brs in. Six foot brs. Bad sarcasm dropping by. What's up, man? Sorry, bad sarcasm man. says, what's cooking, you handsome fuckers? Well, about to be some six-foot bong rips. Well, we're about to cook some six-foot bong rips into our lungs where we will exhale them and then be really baked yeah. and begin to freestyle some wraps. Yes, we're going to do Marijuana-infused wraps. Today, we're doing some rapid doodles after some we take marijuana. these six-foot bong doodles. So. Infused wraps. Yeah! <laughs> Fuck am I shit? <laughs> okay. Yeah, baby. Okay. Okay. What? Um, let's see. Evil Eye Johnny, big Superman fan. Hell yeah. Yeah, Superman. Cindy Angel's grabbing a dab. Hell yeah. Crazy King says, Wonder Woman is real when I can tap that ass. Ooh! <laughs> All right. I like it. I'm not a robot, dude, says, uh, loser. He's a loser. She's a loser. I'm a That's creep. A loser. Okay. I'm a loser. Are we ready? Are we, what the uh, hell am I doing here? We gonna, we gonna do this? I don't belong here. You gonna pack that thing full, dude? I don't, I don't belong, belong here. Oh, That's one of my favorite songs, Creep. Ooh, I... Oh, no, it's like, she... Ooh, fucking butts. Running out of time. Uh, fuck and that one guy on America's Got Talent sang it and like I fucking just my guy in advance it's so good yeah. have you heard you, I'm, I'm not a fan you like that, of right? those but no uh, like that, that one guy's cover of it, it fucking it made me fucking tear up when I heard that shit I'm sorry if that's weird but that dude's cover I can't remember his fucking it's like Dylan something I think or Justin something or fuck I don't remember but he uh, does there's America's Got Talent cover of Creep and it'll it'll pop up yeah. And it's like a dude. It's a dude with two first names. I, I think I remember that. Uh, okay. And uh, Bill Bob. I don't know, but uh, it's Bill so Bob. fucking good how he sings it. And like he grew up, he's he's uh, gay, and uh, grew up like in the fucking back in the day, or like a little bit, like you know, like I guess I guess he was around my age. No, he was like twenty seven or twenty eight. So. So he was a little bit, like, older. So he grew up even, like, whenever it was way more in the, like, before the closet. You know what I mean? Like, he's not coming out. Yeah, and he was, well, he was made fun of and shit. And, like, he, that's oh, like, yeah. that's why he said he picked that song, Creep. Because he, like, you know what I mean? I thought it was a good representation or whatever. And I was like, that dude sang it. It was beautiful, amazing. Check it out, dudes. And guys and girls, and this guy's about to stretch because he's about to do a six foot fucking bomber. Do you know what I'm not like? a robot, dude. Wants to know what you guys favorite bands. No, wait, that's what bad sarcasm wants to know. Oh, favorite bands? I listen to a lot. Dude, there's a new rapper I just... Okay, I typed in atheist rapper and it pops up a picture of a guy. I grabbed his name, I put it in YouTube, and I started listening to... I, I have like... I, oh, I linked it in the Discord. In the, in the podcast Discord, the PPP podcast, whatever. That Discord, I linked the... Uh, it's like an hour and 20 whatever minutes. That dude is all about scientific atheist rap, and it's fucking amazing. Holy shit. I, I would have to say Mumford and Sons would be dude, my all-time favorite. Ballers. Name. Those guys are Mumford so fucking good. The banjo, dude. I love it. And that dude's voice I is on point. Everything know. about it. I love it, dude. Mumford yeah. and Sons is so amazing. Good. So those are also guys. Yeah. There's a lot. Gorillas. <clears throat> there's so much. I can't say it. Like, I can't put, you can never pick. Come on. Like, there's so many. I would never be able to do that because of the fact that there's so many millions of people that are always creating such amazing stuff. And you never. You know what I mean? Like, I've, I've there's heard so much stuff There's out so there much now, great stuff I've heard from so the, many different artists. Here's the cool thing. Is we have connected. access to Pandora. It. Now, like whether or not you can get to it all, you never will, mm -hmm. but you have access to so much. You have the ability you to turn before. something on to where a random song will play that you've never heard before, and you'll be like, holy shit, I love this. Click that, play, listen to more of that, and then find more of that type, and then keep going with that if you want. Or just find something else, and that's amazing. It's like, ah, <laughs> I fucking love weed. Um, I just want Ethan's shield from D&D. &D. I don't even have a shield. I don't have like a shield. Like Mage Hand? 
Oh, you want me to give you the reach around? Yeah, is it Crazy King that said that? Yeah. Yeah, because Crazy King is the, it's the mage armor. The, the, I said, uh, can I come? And oh, it makes the fucking yeah. shield. And I said, whenever I give it to somebody else, I have to give him a reach around. So he just wants me to give him a hand job. Dude. He wants the mage hand. Yeah. Give him the mage hand. You want the mage hand, dude? You want some mage hand, bro? Well, it's the mage armor. It's called mage armor. Good atheist rapper is cannabis. Yeah, cannabis is... Mm-hmm. That dude's old school. I'm all about that. The old shit fell over again. Great, dude. <laughs> Six I'm getting foot into it. Well, Here we go. Six foot. You're going to try to take the whole thing into you this time? And you should try to take the whole thing into you and blow it out of your ass. Just imagine... And it was like a big fart, and like, what if we could do that? I wonder how high you'd get from doing that. You think that's weird, guys? What if you could take a six foot bar up your ass and blow it out of your mouth? Would you think that's what I'm preparing cool? for. <laughs> okay. Alrighty. Six foot bar rip time. We gotta get the lungs going, dude. Okay. Prepare. <sighs> breathe with me. I am going to breathe. I am breathing. I think everybody's breathing with you, dude. We all are breathing with you. I guarantee it. hundred <laughs> percent. We're all breathing with you, dog. Yeah. Good. Because if you weren't, you would be dead. Exactly. You everybody would be world, dead. That's the cool thing about breathing. Are you prepared? You Are you prepared? No. You're the one that's taking it, dude. I have to. I have no preparation in need for this. Thus far. I'm going to go pee before I take this. That's my preparation for the, the six foot bar if I will be doing. But until then, I'm going to watch this man do a six foot bar grip. Woo! And you are him. Woo! Oh, shit. Sorry. Ooh. Yeah. You ready? <clears throat> ready. Good, my friend. Yeah, yeah. Six foot bong rip right into your fucking chest hole. Up and up and up and up and up and up. Oh, <laughs> so much more. You look, it's falling down. It's falling down. Oh, oh. <coughs> get more. It's coming. It's falling down. No, <coughs> don't go down. Spicy <coughs> doodle, where you going? Oh, no. no. Yeah, it's really hit it. <laughs> <coughs> Hell yeah. Dude, hitting some six foot bongers, some bongers and slongers. You doing some bongs and dongs? <coughs> I gotta pee, <coughs> but then I'll be ready. Yeah, after I pee, I'll be ready for <coughs> six foot bong rips. Six foot <coughs> bong rips. You know what I'm saying? That's how you do it. Cool. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <coughs> well. Huh? <coughs> yeah. I just wanna. <coughs> I just wanna say thanks for being here, everybody. I'm gonna go ahead and lay down. Uh, <clears throat> Next, <nice> watching. <clears throat> huh? Cool, dude. Everything's Everything cool. was cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. nothing weird happened. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Right? Am I right? Chat? I you got right? my back. Nothing Am out I of right? the ordinary happened. Okay. You for some sort of <clears throat> The cast moved on as normal. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> Zeno Xenox DKs says, Oh my fucking god. <laughs> Is that a Hoover bong? For fuck's sake. <laughs> Is that a Hoover bomb? It's the Hoover bomb. Oh my not god. Not the Hoover god. Nam. Oh, dude, that's so great, though. <coughs> I love you so much for saying it like that. Yes. Oh my fucking god. Is mm. that a Hoover bomb, dude? I'm ready to hit the Hoover bomb. Should we call it the Hoover? Is that the name of this thing? I was only out for a minute. Oh, okay. Good. Huh? Wait, should, wait, we, wait. Call, should anyway. we call it the Hoover? The Hoover. The Hoover. We never named it. We the Blue Hoover. The Blue Hoover. 
Blue Hoover! The Blue Hoover! The Blue Hoover! Ah. Alright. I'm gonna need that lighter, senor. I just gotta stand up, dude, because I gotta get ready for the minute that fucking. Woo! The Blue Hoover! The Blue Hoover! Show it, The man. Blue Hoover! Show your enthusiasm. Let's Hell see. Yeah. It, dude. We got the Blue Hoover, yeah. I like it. The Blue Hoover. This is the, that's the name, dude. I'm fucking loving it. Thank you so much. Like, that is legitimately the name of this thing now. The Blue Hoover. The Blue I'm Hoover. I'm so happy about that. Man. Man. Remember when we hit the Blue Hoover? Dude, we, have you ever hit the Blue Hoover? Oh, bro. You've hit the Blue Hoover yeah. before? Oh, This is yeah. like my first It's time. legendary. The Blue Hoover. Yeah, this is no. the legendary Blue no, Hoover. No. This is it. This Are is you the one. Me, no, no, no. I'm no, no. For real? I wouldn't lie to you. Are you serious? I'm serious. You sure? This is the legendary okay. Blue Hoover. Okay. You missed it. You gotta turn it a little bit here. It's off. It's cockeyed. Cockeyed! <clears throat> you have no idea how high I am right now. Dude, I can see it in your eyes. You're gonna find out! What are you. I'm like, you've been smoking way more than me. What are you talking about, dude? I've like. You think like 17 bong dab ribs? Dab ribs? Okay. Mm. Yeah. Okay, you good. Yeah, you just did that. Uh, you just did it. <coughs> Congratulations, dude. It all just goes like right into you, dude. Like, <coughs> whoa. You okay? Yeah, it's just burp, dude. <laughs> all right. It smells like Christmas trees up in the dick. Wow. <coughs> <coughs> I don't know why, man. I've just started liking <coughs> the, uh, the bong rips. Yeah. I don't know why. Maybe it was uh, doing so many six foot bong rips from the fucking <coughs> roulette wheel. <coughs> you good? Do you need to lay down? <coughs> I will lay down <coughs> with you. I will lay down next to you. I will cuddle you. I will rub you. Massage your back. Whatever you need, my friend. Are you going to be good? <coughs> Lordy. <coughs> Yeah. <coughs> yeah. Okay, so. <coughs> <coughs> Holy shit. <coughs> ben Sarcasm says, isn't pot just the best? Isn't legal here in Massachusetts, which is bizarre, but accepting. Huh. <coughs> Massachusetts <coughs> is pretty fucking liberal. Pretty weird. Yeah. It's weird that it's not legal there. Not yet. <coughs> True. <coughs> what do you need me to do? You need more water? <coughs> you want me to some water? I'm good, dude. Man. Okay. <coughs> do you want me to? <laughs> you want me to jam my dick down your throat? No, at all. That'll help. No. Nope. It helps with the coughs. It makes you gag. You start gagging instead of coughing. I'm sure. I don't know if it's better or not, but it's different. <coughs> so I can tell you. <coughs> Alright, dude, we have... <coughs> you want to wait? Let's wait. Have what? Let's, let's just <coughs> chat for a minute. <coughs> no, I'm saying it is legal <coughs> in Massachusetts. Both rec and uh, medical. <coughs> mm. oh. <coughs> Which is bizarre. Why is it bizarre? Uh. Okay, so it is legal there. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. You not like that? Do you like it then? Is it? Woo! <laughs> like weed being legal, dude? I don't fucking know. Now you know how I feel. <coughs> <coughs> I mean, or not. Yeah, really. yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess now I know how you feel ten minutes ago. Dude, my fucking eyes are like 
fucking laser beams, dude. They're warm, dude. Yeah. I feel like I can like fucking woo. You want to shoot some? It's time for wraps, dude. Are you ready? Is this it? Is this the time this. we do it? We're I gotta go get water, but get it prepped. So get it prepped. Fucking I think high. Somebody right prepped something, and then we gotta throw some wraps. Ready for wraps? Wow. Still <clears throat> I'm still a penis. Hey, I I want to just say, from here on out, I claim no responsibility for the cringe that you may see. Okay. <clears throat> If you don't like cringe, leave the fucking place. If you don't want to see cringe, leave now. If you are a friend of cringe, remain. And that is all I will say. No matter how high we are, we understand. That's it. That's, it. That's all I'm going to say. No matter how high we are, we understand. <clears throat> Holy shit, wieners. <laughs> oh, he says he loves it, but people here... I, actually, I think it's a girl, I want to say. I don't know why. Ooh. <clears throat> Bad sarcasm. But whoever they are, they say, <coughs> I love that, but people here in Massachusetts are assholes and hate Reaver. It passed by like 3%. Oh, so okay. fuck it. Prep that <laughs> shit, rep that shit, and smoke that shit. Woo! You know what I mean? Dude, I'll oh, tell you right now. Google Project Blue Beam before you rap. Colorado. Colorado. <clears throat> um... There's a lot of people that smoke weed here, I'll tell you that much. Not everybody dude, Colorado's weed very liberal. There is so Especially li- I love them. living in Colorado, dude. Especially. I don't give a fuck. Oh, okay. I fucking... You can walk around the Frisbee golf course with a joint in your ear next to the fucking police department and be fine. Like, why the fuck? Just don't be a fucking piece of shit! It's a, li- it's a simple life. Dude, Do this what you want. Cool. Don't be a piece this of shit. This sounds cool as fuck. What is this? This sounds cool as fuck. Well, hit me with it. We need... This needs to be a movie, without oh, a doubt. Project Blue Beam is a conspiracy theory that claims that NASA is attempting to implement a new age religion with the Antichrist at its head and start a new world order via a technologically simulated second coming. The allegations were presented in 1994 by Quebecois, Quebecois journalist and conspiracy theorist Serge Monast and later published in his book, Project Bluebeam. Pro, uh, proponents of the theory allege that Mon, uh, Monast and other unnamed journalists, <clears throat> who both died of heart attacks in 1996, were in fact assassinated, and that the Canadian government kidnapped Monsat's daughter in an effort to dissuade him from investigating Project Bluebeam. Oh. My first theory is the fact that <laughs> The, the word oh, no. antichrist already makes me be like, well, oh, not religious, so don't give a fuck. And there's another theory I believe in called uh, the theory called the Big Bang Theory, which is a big explosion, meaning that an explosion happened from nothingness, meaning that if that's true, that we're nothingness, meaning that none of that fucking matters. Woo! I need a Woo. soda for this. Be right back. All right. <clears throat> okay. Are we doing this? Is this a good idea? Are you ready for this, man? I feel like this is not a good idea. Whoa. I think what we're doing is bad. Uh, yeah, it's probably really bad. But, but we got to do it. Okay. Okay. It's that same one. Okay. I'm nervous. <laughs> Are you nervous, dude? I'm so nervous, bro. Okay, you just gotta... Okay, look. I gotta shake, shake it off, okay? I mean... Shake the nervous I'm off. nervous. The world is watching. The world? You think... I oh, didn't want to tell you. I didn't want to tell you the viewer <sighs> count. A billion. It's well over. What? It's well over. I even it's well it. over I'm our done. projections. We're quitting, dude. 2.7 billion. What? 2.7 billion people are watching this right Hell now. Yeah, dude. <sighs> mm-hmm. We're on the biggest stage we've ever been on. Ever. This is the biggest stage podcast it feels like it, man. has ever been on. It really you can does feel, feel like the it. tension in the air. Dude, it's... You can feel the tension in the air. It's okay. thick. It's thick. Like a thick, 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 T H I C C, thick, thick, thick. Yes. Okay. Okay. That 
I like it. That is how it feels in here right now, everybody. <sighs> My heart is racing. Racing like a heart racer? <sighs> we just have to do it. We have to start it. we got to feel it. Yeah, dude, let's and go. And we got to let the billions... Watching, no. Just gotta press play. We're man. here for real. Podcast number one. This is not a number one all time <laughs> live show. Podcast live show number one all time. You not completely recorded. skipped the song and then press play. This is a different one. You that was scary. Here we go. The dude holding that was scary rap. Two point seven billion. Wow. Two point seven billion of you. This guy's making the numbers up. Watching. Dudes. I don't know. Waiting. We never know. Hating. What? Who's hating? Probably masturbating. Masturbate. Don't hate. Appreciate. Okay. What we do. I like it. On the daily, boo. Yeah, yeah. We work so hard. Do you? Not really that hard. That's pretty cool, man. But sometimes it feels that way. Doesn't really, man. Most of the time, not really, no. Okay, we got to chill. What we yeah. Other things. Here oh, and there. Oh. Space things. Space? World things. The world. Things around the world. Around? Dolphins and shit. Animals. Whales. Porpoises. Pigs. Pigs. What? Caviar. Caviar. <laughs> so salty. Ooh. Just malty. Like an ice cream shake. I'm baked, smoking weed every day, going to the place where I can't come back. Whoa. So high, too high. There Don't panic, go. coming okay. back. Not that baked no more. You got it. I do. Do you yeah. think I can? No, sir, I can't. Oh, wait, I can, and I'm gonna do it, man. Right here, don't fear, Smelly Penis is here. Hell yeah, that shit gonna be real lit. I don't know how to rap. You think this shit is crap? Fuck you, haters, man. Smoking dabs, taking plans, going around the entire world, handling shit. Nobody else can! Whoa! Don't even know if that shit rhyme. Do you know, bro? This shit's getting crazy. Don't know where to go. Frightening noise. Oh no! Run! Run! As fast as you can! Shit's getting lower, my man! Chillin'. Chillin' back normal. Normal beat going to the normal, normal, normal place where we don't have to run anymore. It's getting a little bit faster and I'm a bore. Boring rapper, maybe. I don't care when I don't wear any underwear. My penis smells. My name is Smelly Penis, yo. If you don't like it, I don't know. Don't know what to say every single day. Don't wash that shit. Don't need to quit. Holy moly, man. I don't know what to do. <laughs> do you know what to say, my dude? That shit dropped and made a fucking noise. That shit crazy. I don't know where the boy's at. Where the noise at. That shit did it. What are you gonna do? What's up, yo? What's up? Oh my god. Yo? Fucking. What's up? I'm done. Yo? It's a retirement album. I'm hoping I didn't break it off. Here. <sighs> god damn, I'm hot. Woo! Shit! Holy shit. That's dude. a little thing we like to do here. Wow. Sometimes we get really high, and that's the, the. We warned you prior of the cringe. So, if anybody had a problem with that, you're fucking stupid because we already told you the cringe was coming. Okay? <laughs> okay. God yeah. damn, I'm fucking uh, Woo! <laughs> Ripped six foot bong. Can't see you straight now. Same here. Uh, Same here. Mm -hmm. Another stunt like that, Another cowboy. One. You're going to get us killed. Oh. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. Uh, his penis smells. <laughs> I'd like to make sure that point is brought up in every one of my raps. Smelly penis is here. Yeah. yeah That's yeah. my rap name. That's... That sh if we smelly ever penis. become rappers, you I'm smelly penis. Seriously, you have to be smelly penis. The sm the danky smell pee. DJ smelly penis. DJ smelly pee. <laughs> CJ smelly pee. Oh, <laughs> oh. 
Something like that. We'll figure it out. But smelly, something about smelly penis. I got a smelly dick dog. Smelly dick dog? Smelly dick dog. Smelly dick dog. SDD. I don't know. I like to... DJ Smelly Penis. That's DJ good. Sm- Sm- Smelly Penis. Yeah, I like that one too. That's cool. Okay. Du, 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 du. And you can be like rap and stuff too, but you're also the main DJ. Yeah. And there's always like a weird smell that nobody can identify <laughs> in the audience. Like, what <laughs> yeah. the fuck is that? Like, it's like it's off putting, but not too off putting. But they're like, what the fuck? Nobody ever can do yeah, it. Yeah, nobody ever yeah. knew. It. They never really know <laughs> what it Every is. Every time. But... Yeah. And I gotta figure out how to People make it. People come show. back for it and they're just like, Because oh. they're like, what the mm-hmm. fuck? Like, it's such a I weird. I mean, it's weird, but it's not that bad. Yeah. It's, I don't know. I think that's how you do it. Mm hmm. It's not a bad idea. I feel like that could be a big money maker for podcast if we just did that. Yeah, it starts smoking a lot of weed. Oh, yeah. I mean, we yeah, don't smoke yeah. enough now, so we should smoke more. We should smoke more? We need to smoke more. More six-foot bong ribs? Yeah, most likely. Right now? Probably not at the moment. Okay, no, yeah, no, yeah. No, I agree. No, 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 I, I don't agree. know about that. That's what I that's what you meant, though. You were like, oh, shit. No, nobody said that. No. DJ Smelly Cheese Dick. <laughs> Filthy Penis sounds better. <laughs> Hell, yeah. Like DJ this. Smelly D. Okay. Uh, Master Poopy says, I'm going to chase this whiskey with Patron. I want a girl in my lap with a Jaeger bomb. Goddamn. All right. If you are drinking whiskey with I think it's a song. I'm pretty sure that's, that's lyrics, right? I have no idea. I'm pretty sure that's lyrics. Sounds like a song. Let me see. But we can wrap it. How can we wrap fuck, it? That would make me throw I'm going to chase this whiskey with Patron. I want a girl in my lap with a Jaeger bomb. I don't want any of that shit, dude. I hate all the guests in my life. Jaeger's disgusting. Cinnamon liquors are just so gross, too. Aftershock. Uh, I want to go to a good Chinese. Gold buffet. Schlager. Oh, I remember being a kid and drinking Gold Schlager. Oh, me too. I remember taking 19 jello shots. <sighs> that gives me 19 jello shots? No, dude. She fucked me up. <laughs> what, vodka? I don't know what the fuck it was. Jesus, they were just jello dude. shots and they were in the fridge and nobody liked one flavor and I liked the flavor so I was fucking taking them all, dude. Jesus. There's no flavor nobody liked. Luckily, you're a big dude. If I took 19 jello shots, I'd be dead, I think. I don't know. I don't remember. If, if I, I didn't throw, throw it up, I would have died. Yeah. Probably would have just been dead. There was a lot. <laughs> dude. You know that big thing that I put under the sink because the like, sink was leaking? Yeah. Before the guy came to fix it? We had like two of those, right? And Oscar and Pierce, I drink, okay, a glass like about that big, maybe a little bit bigger, full to the top of only Jaeger. In under a minute, I drank that whole glass. I chugged it. I tried chugging it. And I finished it. And Damn. Like, I, the whole thing of Jaeger. The whole glass. That's full disturbing. Of Jaeger. Like a whole glass like that. If I did Jaeger, that, and I chugged I'm the whole dead. Glass. Okay, I'm so dead. I did that. And uh, this guy was like, it was like, th- I remember, the only thing I really remember is like 30 minutes later, after I chugged it, the guy was like, the guy you was You were like, awake for 30 more minutes? <laughs> that's what he said. He was, I remember that because that's the only thing I really remember is like, like that, that, there's only a few things I remember. That's the main one I remember is the fact that he was like, 30 minutes later, he was like, dude, I'm impressed that you drank all that, right? But I'm more impressed <laughs> that you're still awake right now, dude. 30 minutes later, I was still, like, chilling Jesus. and standing up and stuff like that. But then I remember, this is the rest I remember, they had things, two of those things basically that size, and they would run one to me. And I would fill it up with puke. Oh, <laughs> and then shit. they would switch it, because they were going to go, they would go dump one in the sink. They had these so big, deep big. sinks. We had these big, deep sinks, and they would dump it in the sink. And then fucking they would run that one to the other one to me so I could fill that one up. And then wow. I remember waking up feeling horrible and going to the sink, like a deep ass sink, like about like that big of a sink, all the way up with puke, dude. Ooh, all of it puke. Baby. It was so bad. And like I drank so much. That was the whole, I, wow. I can throw up a lot. You're a big person. Up. Yeah. You you've seen lot. how much I can oh, fucking Jesus throw up. Like Christ. damn, dude. Yeah, I've seen that a couple Ooh. times, dog. Gotta watch out. So the second time yeah. I wanted it, but the first time was unaware. <laughs> so, yeah. Wait, so the second time you wanted me to throw up? Oh yeah. Oh, you were like filming? Oh show? yeah. Oh, the movie see also oh, like weird yeah. inside. It's sexy. People jerking off mm. and throwing up. <laughs> oh, <my God. clears throat> it's a good song. 
Okay, so it is a song. Yeah. That's like chugging a NyQuil. Chugging NyQuil? NyQuil? I wouldn't, I've never chugged a whole bottle. I've drank a lot of it before. Like, when we were on a bus. Like, we are on a bus back. Jeez. <laughs> we were on a bus, like, there Sounds and, so bad well, there you. they went, like, when some people would do it, but, like, I was, like, I wasn't sure if I wanted to do it or not, but then on the way back, because we were, on, it was the in laws in the military, and we are on these little fucking buses going to California, which was, like, oh, a fucking 18-hour no. drive, no. there, and we had an 18-hour drive back, Drinking and so, like, people. I fucking, I remember out. drinking, like, half a bottle of NyQuil, and just fucking passing, passing out, passing out, yeah. And you just fucking sick. Because 18 hours, like, you're yeah. cramped in there, and you fucking it fucks dick, and, like, yeah, dude, fucking... I would rather sleep. Too. It's not good for you at all, and you should never do that, but... Fuck it, man. You fuck. Hey, if it's bad for you, and you do it, you're taking your chances, and you're taking... If it takes life away from you, that's your fucking... I mean, whatever, man. Hey, bro. We're all rolling the dice, right? I'm rolling my own dice, you're rolling your own dice. That's all I'm saying. So, whatever. I smoke a lot of weed, too. Everybody is always rolling the dice, no matter what. Whatever you do. you're doing, just roll by the dice. being alive, you're rolling the dice. Every time. You might think you're the safest person ever. You might be in one of the safest areas ever, but everybody is really just rolling the dice. Because you can die at any moment by any weird, random way. Mm-hmm. It's possible the a meteor could just destroy us all at any second, and we would never know about it. Nobody's gonna warn us. The government's not going to be like, hey. Or they might not know. In two weeks, we're fucked. Or they might not know legitimately. And they might not even know themselves, but if they but did, would they tell if, us? If, if they didn't if know how to stop If there is an intergalactic it. space agency thing, then we're fine, because they already know how to. If that's well, the, the intergalactic space agency, luckily, is real. And they are looking out for planet Earth, Thank motherfuckers. You guys. I'm on your side. I'd vote for you guys. Let me just chill with you guys. Teach me your information. I'm down with that shit. Beam me up, Scotty. Let's do it. Let's check Let's it fuck out. Fuck the fucking weird people that believe in shit. Like, I'm down with whatever you're down with. All right? As long as it's not weird. Yeah. Too I'm weird. down. I'm in. Yeah. I'm sold. Okay. Let's go. Inner galaxies, interdimensional travel, okay. <laughs> space travel, faster than the known humans could ever do, uh, like ninja it. jumps. Wait, what about ninja in the garage kicks? Not no. even close to that. Like, in ten better? times better. Ten times better. You think better. you're going to enjoy it more? Oh, way more. Okay. Oh, okay. yeah. Like, the ninja kicks will be way more better. Mm-hmm. Because of the technology that we would <clears throat> unlock, the interdimensional travel, mm-hmm. that stuff, the technology that we would unlock with the traveling through dimensions into I dimensionally. Like it so much, dude. The yeah. more you say stuff, the more I'm liking it. Right? I'm really getting you hyped up. And aren't you? super stoked, dude. Like, holy shit. I, am... I can see it on your face. Oh, I can tell how excited I, you are. Like, like, uh, dude, all I'm thinking I've about... I've never seen you smile this big, to be honest. <laughs> yeah. All I'm thinking about is the fact that we could go get Malto meal. <laughs> dude, I'm sorry, man. Oh my fucking God, it'd be amazing. We could go get that shit. There's no way. Yeah, there's no way. Are we sure? Oscar. Are we sure about this? Be here. I think you go. There's no way. And then we could make Monto Wheel. And there's then we could, no way. Oh my god. That would be Monto If every wheel. god ever that ever exists Ooh. wants me to suck his penis or her penis or whatever the fuck wants me to suck something so that I can I can get this Monto Meal in my mouth. He'll do it. I'm doing it. He'll do anything for Malto Meal. So. Anything. What if there's a god that becomes Malto Meal? So do you always. It's always the perfect, like, blend of, like, milk and butter and the brown sugar. So it always, like, the Malto Meal tastes perfect when it comes. So you always just want to, like, let him just juice in your mouth. I love it. Okay. I would suck a lot of it. So Fenton Crackshell says Serious question. If you freaky Friday into Jennifer Lawrence's body, would you let her best friend bang you so that they could experience having sex with Jennifer Lawrence? Whoa. No, 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 because you're getting fucked. It doesn't matter if you're in a different person's body. You're still getting fucked. I don't I think I would do a lot of like Would you do it for your best friend? No. So they could experience 100% it. Hundred not, sorry. Like, this is exactly what would happen. I would go into her body. I would fucking definitely look at myself and shit, you know? I would probably do a lot of masturbation. 
<laughs> but I would not be getting fucked because I am in that body when it's getting fucked, and I don't want to get fucked. Okay. I feel like that's a memory you'll never ever forget. Exactly, but if you're that but, will last but, with you forever, even if when you yeah, go exactly. back into that's your what, body, that will haunt that's you what I'm for like, the rest like, of your life. Seeing yourself playing with yourself, you know, like looking at your tits and finger banging yourself and shit, like and feeling what it feels like to come. With what if that thing? makes you fall in love with your best friend? Because when you're in that oh, state and you're and getting you, like, fucked, it, like wait, it secretes your first the hormones. Hormone, your first orgasm as a female is with your best friend. That's fucking disgusting, And then it, like, dude. secretes your fuck? hormones Grrr. saying this is a good thing. And then your brain doesn't change, right? Or your mind, your consciousness just moves to a different body. Oh, fuck. So you no, keep those fuck, memories no. forever. So you're, like, in nope. love with That's your best it friend. it would never happen. In a really nope. weird way after nope. that. Where you're like, I love you, nope. but I don't love you. I, I don't nope. know what I want. I would kill myself. Yeah, don't do it. That's well, not cool, guys. Don't do it. Don't that, fucking do that. That's don't Freaky weird. Friday. Do don't, it. Don't ever okay. get fucked. You don't need to. No, 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 no. If you're into that, do it. If Unless you that's to, something you want, then do it. But if it's something but you don't want, don't think do about it. it first. Because we're thinking about it here, and like it does not sound like a good option. Yeah, we worked through it logically, and we now know and we understand how fucking weird it is. Woo. All right, don't do it. Being alive is just a phase we're all going through. Fuck yeah. Pretty much. Yeah. Evil Eye Johnny says, When I was in high school, some friends and I filled up an old hairspray bottle with whiskey for a field trip. It was a bad idea. What? You filled up a hairspray bottle with... What? 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 Oh, no. What? Is there more? Oh, no. Is he there says, more than No that? matter what you do, I just can't get rid of the hairspray. Yeah, dude, hairspray is a weird liquid that you would fucking taste that shit. That's gotta be so, oh so bad to God, ingest dude. hairspray. I can't imagine how horrible that is for you. I'm glad you're alive, Evil Eye Johnny, because that sounds horrific. Is that why you come in here and you're our number one supporter? Because you oh. drink fucking hairspray <laughs> alcohol and it fucked you up and now you think podcast is awesome? Is that what oh, fucking... That's the, that's the question. Wow. <laughs> Wait, I have to see. Oh my god. Yes! Oh my fucking god, dude. We have made it. I think... I don't know, but... This right here. This? That says, Yes, I am not a robot, dude. Said cringe and somebody saying cringe in your chat is a good thing oh my fucking dude oh baby mm. oh, 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 oh yeah baby that's a good sign man oh i like it i like it a lot <laughs> will yeah. uh will adele says nice to see the stream still going guys how you all doing will adele we're still here <laughs> killing it cracking it <laughs> Wrapping it, yeah. sticking it to the world. Something like that. Seven fingers to the sky. Something like that. Uh, like 17 of them or something like Seven. that. Seven. Almost all of them. And then we do we do other stuff still. Will Adele, welcome back, dude. We're mm -hmm. still doing things. We're still here live. We haven't stopped since the last time you were, you saw us. Yeah, we have, We can't. Yeah. We're actually... It's, we've gone straight stuck through. In we've stopped. We have not stopped. Just keep going. We haven't slept either. Something just happened, dude. We have not slept. Damn! Will Adele... <clears throat> go ahead. He said... I'm gonna go ahead. He said... And subscribe! Whoa! Wait a minute. Prime sub! Like it's like a penis in my face. <laughs> But no, um, fucking thank you so much for that support, yeah, dude. We're, Hell we're, yeah. we're baked as fuck, dude. dude. Uh, we have been uh, smoking a lot, so I we're just blew, high as fuck. God damn it, I blew like all this weed out. Of I can see that. I'm sorry. Yeah, man. it's okay. I mean, it happens, dude. <laughs> I've done it, man. It's fine. Thank you so much thank for the so subby much, dude. You're tub amazing. tub three men in a tub. Dog, that was beautiful. <clears throat> yeah. What's what is this rub a dub dub three men in a tub song? Um, I know that part. Rub a dub dub, oh, three men in a tub, sucking dicks and smoking bud. Right? There you go. Something like that. God damn! Thank you so much for that sub, dude. That's dude, you're awesome. You're amazing. 
<clears throat> Last time was PUBG with Blazin. Oh, shit. Okay. Hell yeah. Oh, hell yeah, man. Master Poopy <laughs> wants to know. God damn, I'm high as fuck. Oh, would you rather have sex in a restaurant full of people or masturbate on a bus full of people? I would have sex in a restaurant full of people. Yeah, I'll do with that my too. fiance. It would be 100%. way easier to do that than it would be to just jerk off. And especially like, since I don't care. It's just, well, especially since like if you're okay, with somebody, you're you jerking and, 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 and on it. you're, jerk, if you're yeah. jerking off. You're like, and they're only looking weird. at you. Everybody's too, looking you know at me. Like, like nobody. The, like, the, I, the I'm not with anybody else. The whole thing of sex in general. You know what I mean? Like the thing about like with sex is like it could be seen as an art. Right, so like, whenever you have, I don't see. I mean, I'm not. I don't know if like if I jerk off and film it, can I put the submit it to smart? I don't know about that, but like, um, fucking, it's artistic. When a girl, I mean, fucking, like with a, like if I was with my fiance and that was the option, and like I would fuck, definitely fuck in public. I wouldn't give a fuck because the only person I care about is her, and you know what I mean. I'd be having sex with her. And she's, we're already engaged and getting married. So it's like, you can at least it's fucking, I'm like, chilling. I don't give a fuck about anybody else. You know what I mean? Like, like, yeah, and who gives a fuck? Know. Because nah. that's, that's something, like, after we've talked about this, this is something so important people should understand. Your day-to-day life, the people you drive by or, like, see or, like, you go uh, to a store and bump into, you may never see again in your entire fucking life. So you should never give a fuck, really. Like, you should care. Like, I mean, fucking wash and change your clothes and shit, I don't know, like, simple shit, but you shouldn't care in the sense of, like, don't fucking care or think people are looking at you or feel judged or anything, because who gives a fuck in the end? You might not ever see that person again. That's so important, you know what, what? I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I don't know. No, I, mean, I, I guess, agree. yeah. I'm right there with you. Yeah. I'm a su- that's about that. Super, super bait. Yeah, I'm fucking nice. Super, super bait. Thank you so much, man. I'm gonna hit this ball Watch for this, I You don't wanna hit this ball rip for you, eh? Yeah, yeah. Del. And then what's well, going to yeah. happen after that? I don't know. Most likely. More weed. We're doing this and then bongs and the rips. Pass and out. six foot bong rips. And dabs. <laughs> We're doing dabs and six foot bong rips. Say 17 foot bong rips. We're doing 17 foot bong rips. 17. 17. 17. 17. 17. Oscar. Is it almost time? Oscar will be here. Uh, no. No? 10 20. Okay, so he's got like 20 more minutes at least. He doesn't get off for 10 minutes. No way. 10 minutes he'll be off. What? Yeah. Like he's gonna get off? Most likely. Okay. To this. Dude. To this. That's amazing. Yes, he loves it. I'm down with that. I he doesn't want to tell you he's kind of embarrassed, but yeah, that's his ritual. Okay. Yeah, he loves it. Loves it. All right, dude. Here's to your 17th bomb rip of the cast. Long rip number 17. Ravioli, ravioli, give me the formioli. Yeah. Jesus Christ, dude. That's incredible. You're an incredible species. Holy dick and wieners. No, specimen, that's what I meant to say. You're an incredible specimen. I feel broken, dude. You smell broken, dude. <coughs> yeah. <coughs> give it to there. There it is, dudes. Lock it in, man. Okay. I think we're going to call it. Mm-hmm. That was a good way to end it. Wow. Yeah. Billy Bob is ready. <coughs> Freddy. Look up creep. <coughs> so, we're back tomorrow America's night. America's got talent. We're back tomorrow night. Tomorrow night, dudes. Dudes. Dudes, 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 dudes. Oh, and about that... The whole we're gonna go to forecasts. Um, we're gonna start, they're gonna be at seven p.m. So it's good. We're gonna get more longer casts, fewer but longer. Fewer but longer, Think friends. Of this. Think of this, guys. Okay. We want this concept. Hopefully, we're gonna see. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Doom. There we go. Here we go. <coughs> <coughs> we gotta look up who's streaming. We're gonna host somebody. Thanks for being here. Who is getting hosted today, Mr. Fonzai? I don't know. There must be a variety of people I'm sure you're seeing here. I see a variety of people as well. Many, many people. <coughs> Damn. Yeah. Whoa. Whoa. 
It's a bit of a It's like, whoa. Um, like, is that Mr. Hans? Man, I'm just still, like, looking and seeing who all is out there. Like, there's a lot of people streaming right going now. Down, dude. Holy guacamole. You like guacamole? I love guacamole. Give me some guac. I need some water, dude. Some this guac. is really delicious. It's, gonna be like, it's one of those water decisions, dude. Is that what it is? Dude, I believe it, man. <coughs> there's a lot of things going on. Okay. Who should we spread some water? Uh, so let's host up Pot Quest, dude. Oh, they're okay. looking, they're blowing up right now. Let's give them some more love. Let's help these dudes out. He's cool as fuck. Uh, okay. <coughs> what? You don't want to? No, I'm. I'm yeah, whatever. I'm done with it. Whatever. I said. So I was like, Can we help some out. That's all. Yeah, these That's guys it. are dope. Holy shit! They're doing a, a trim lady. stream. They got a giant. That's a lot of fucking tree radio. right behind them, guys. They have a so giant high, tree dude. right behind them. Yeah, that's that a is lot super dope. Of fucking weed. Check these dudes out. They're fucking a uh, super chill. Yeah, yeah. Thanks for being here, guys. Peace out, dogs. Um, I am um, fucking ready. And uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow night for more weird and wild, super duper high action. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thanks for being here, guys. Meal, Have buenos noches. It'll be the same thing, another dinner style with uh, everything else provided. Uh, dude, I mean, I'm excited because when we first went, I was nervous, you know. Woo.